We're at Malik Thompson Stadium in Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania for a PSAC West rivalry between your California Vulcans and the Rock of Slippery Rock. Welcome into the broadcast. I'm Stephen Ruffing, and alongside me is two very fine gentlemen, Dylan Goday and Colin Kirkwood. Guys, we have a great matchup first. What do you guys expect to see out of this game? I expect to see uh, California try to bounce back from that game last week. Both teams actually had a tight game with opponents they're expecting to blow out. So that'll be interesting to see how both these teams, now both nationally ranked in the top 25 of both polls, uh, interesting to see how both those teams bounce back after that. California ranked 4 and 5, Slippery Rock 17 and 18. And you said something about that last game. Colin, let's take a look at these two teams' last game and what they did. Last week, California took on Seton Hill as we were there, if you may have tuned in, and a very tough game for California, kind of a trap game, if you will, barely coming out of there with a victory. And last week for Slippery Rock, they took on Gannon in another kind of trap game, if you will, also barely escaping with the victory there. So look for a very high-paced and fast game here from both these teams to really reestablish themselves as the season moves forward in PSAC West play. Yeah, it's going to be a very unpredictable game. And Dylan, let's take a look at the last meeting between these two, these two tough competitors. Yeah, these teams played last season, and this time Slippery Rock was ranked ahead of California. California was ranked number 24 in the country, facing off against number 9 there in Slippery Rock last season. And that's when California was in a tight game at first. And then if you remember that from that one, Shamar Green, the Standout senior running back for Slippery Rock got injured there in that one, and California just blew out uh, the rest of that game, finished with 372 yards of total offense, and they were led by Michael Keir, who passed for two, 20 of 30 for 280 yards and four touchdowns. So look for Michael Keir to try to build on that performance last year uh, and, and improve on that into the season. Now California, their offense, something they really take pride in when they play the game. Dylan, they're running into a few complications with their offense and especially their running game. Yes, they are. Leading running back for California, Nick Grissom, is going to be uh, not dressing, not playing here tonight, as well as Bell, which is right behind him. He's going to be playing with some injury there to his shoulder. Jordan Damage on the outside for California. He is also a guy uh, that's maybe a little banged up. We've seen him dressed there on the sideline. Don't know if he's going to get to play or not. Uh, in warm-ups, it was like iffy if he was going to play. So that's somebody we need to look out for. And Colin, looking at going from California's offense to Slippery Rock's offense, Slippery Rock, they have a stud of a wide receiver in Millie Ray. What can we look forward to seeing out of him? And looking at him, he's caught at least one pass in 31 consecutive games for the Rock here, and that's the longest streak in the PSAC West. And that's nothing really to shake a stick at, if you will. That's definitely something that's going to be a huge part of this game. Having consistency is key when it comes to a big game like this. Right, and it's a guy that we have seen on SportsCenter uh, every Sunday morning so far, if I'm uh, if I am correct. But Dylan, this slippery rock all around, there are some tough competitors. We looked at their offense. Let's look at their key on defense. Yeah, and that's going to be defensive end Marcus Martin. He leads the nation in tackles for a loss at 14 tackles for a loss. He also, earlier this season against Lock Haven two weeks ago, he picked up the NCAA record for the most career sacks and tackles for a loss. So he's a guy that uh, is top five all time in all divisions of football in terms of sacks. So that's a guy California needs to block. That's the strong. That's Probably the weakness of this offense is up front pass blocking this season. We have two freshmen, a freshman uh, redshirt freshman left guard and a freshman, true freshman left tackle. So that's definitely going to be a need to focus on this offense to block Martin as he's going to be trying to get after the quarterback all game long. One game this season, he already had three and a half sacks in one game. So that's somebody California needs to key on on the offense side of the ball. And Colin, uh, we've seen these past few weeks, this California defense uh, struggling in the secondary, to say the least. If you're a coach, what do you say in the, uh, in the off week coming into this game? If you're the coach here, you really need to tell them to say, hey, people have really said a lot about us, maybe not being as good as we used to be. This is where you tell them, this is where you make your statement for your season. This is where you step up and prove to people that you are better than your 164th rank in Division II football and 15th rank in the PSAC. This is where you show them 
that you can really make a difference for your team. Yeah, this is a chance for California to overcome all of this adversity. And Dylan, sometimes it's good to have this sort of room for improvement. Yeah, I believe California coming into this game talking about their passing defense. They are going to want to improve that. They've been mixing around guys. There's Lamont McFlat McFadder actually for California has picked up interceptions in every game. Uh, so uh, actually in three straight games, he's the first player in California history since Rontez Miles during the 27 2011 season. Excuse me, there he's now playing for the New York. Uh, was playing Jets. for the New York Jets right. and uh, still is, I believe, there. So that Lamont McFadder, a sophomore, he played at Ball State last year, transferred in here. So that's a guy that we need to look out for on the defensive side of the ball to try to get some turnovers against this, uh, this Slippery Rock offense. And as I mentioned before, we are at Malik Thompson Stadium in beautiful Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. It's a beautiful day. The weather is almost perfect. But, I mean, the game might not be perfect for California because that home record for Slippery Rock is something to look at, Colin. Yeah, it's quite an eye-boggling number here. Slippery Rock teams have compiled a 158-65 and record here in the last 42 seasons, and that's a huge boost for them coming into this game since they were on the road last year in this matchup. In California, they're a team that they're used to people kind of talking down about them. I have a lot of confidence in them coming into this game, proving us wrong about their secondary, overcoming their adversity on offense, and uh, beating this slippery, slippery rock team. What do you think, Dylan? I agree with that. Cal talking about California's weakness, they're in uh, passing defense, they're 164th, but Cal Slippery Rock's defense, they're uh, ranked 153rd in the country in rushing defense. So maybe I know Nick Grissom is out and Jalen Bell playing injured. If California is able to get the ground game going, that could be huge for them. Last week, they rushed for nearly 200 yards, and all five of California's touchdowns were scored on the ground. So look for them to try to get that going again this week. Maybe about something they focused on. They knew Slippery Rock's defense was kind of suspect there to runs. And last week, actually for Slippery Rock, Gainer rushed for 399 yards. And uh, they had a running back there, Big Gain, and a Mark Jones who rushed for a PSAC record 354 yards. So if Jalen Bell or the banged up Jalen Bell uh, and Jimmy Wheeler are able to get going on the ground, that could be big. Yeah, it can be. And, right, and we're almost at the time for kickoff in Mahalik. Thompson Stadium. Sorry uh, for any Slippery Rock fans out there uh, bashing me on my pronunciation of the stadium name. I kind of read that wrong. But Will Brazil is setting up for the kickoff to get this thing underway. California, white jerseys, red pants, slippery rock, and their brand new camo gray, all gray jerseys. Will Brazil kicking this one off, and we are away. This one's going to be received, going down the field for slippery rock. That's going to be number three, Tanner Gary. Gary making his way down the field and finally brought down at the 40 yard line. That was actually Marcus Number Johnson nine. there. Marcus Johnson is a 6'2 senior, so that's great field position here for Slippery Rock to start out with. Um, California trying to kind of takes pride in their kick coverage, and we don't, not too often we see a team get a return like that. So that's a great start here for Slippery Rock. Putting them in some very decent field position. California making their way for their first attempt at defense. Slippery Rock on offense. Tanner Gary, the quarterback, I'm sorry, the sun is in our eyes. Reading these uh, names is going to be rather difficult. He has one side card to his left. Three wide, wide receivers to his right. He drops back. A screen pass. Unable to recept that, receive that is Millie Ray, number 10. And Millie Ray just... That's probably nerves there coming out in a huge nightcap like this, getting really excited and amped for your team, and that's just a lack of focus right there. Buckle down, and there shouldn't be any more problems. Both teams coming into this game, they're going to have some sort of butterflies. These are two undefeated teams, both 4-0. One of these teams is going to make their way out of Slippery Rock with a loss. Gary in the shotgun formation. Drops back, has three receivers. Four. This one's not caught. Bobbled in the hands of the wide receiver and finally brought down incomplete. And Corey Bopp made a huge hit there on that play. But something I noticed on the first two plays of the game is California is keeping number three there for them on coverage for, uh, that's Brendan Edwards. He's on coverage on Millie Ray. He tried to shadow him on both sides of sending Vondell Bell to the opposite side of the field as Millie Ray. So that's something to look out for is now Brendan Edwards is back on the near side of the field, California side here on, on coverage here on third down. Gary. 
Has Isaiah Neely to his left, three wide receivers to his right, another to his left. He drops back. He's pressured. He's pressured. He gets rid of the ball, and that's an, uh, incomplete near the sideline, and that's going to bring up a fourth down for the Rock. And Steve, as we talked about in the beginning of the game here, there's that defense really wanting to show themselves a prove-me game, if you will. Yeah, and that's that big line that California has uh, making it easy for this secondary pressuring that quarterback. And California hasn't got had too many sacks this season, so that's great to see. They're, uh, they haven't had the best pass rush so far this season. Slippery Rock's punt unit setting up. Again, I can't tell who's there to receive the punt for California. This one is away, a line drive. Picked up about at the 20-yard line, brought down about the 23, a big hit. Yeah, I believe that may be Jalen Bell. Actually, that's going to be 23, I think, here for California, and that's going to be D'Angelo Mitchell. First time we've seen him uh, get some action here for California, so that's going to be big for them. Again, Jalen Bell probably not going to be returning kicks for them as he is playing injured, and let's see who comes out at running back first, and it's going to be Jimmy Wheeler there, number one for California again. Rushing defense is the weakness of the Slippery Rock uh, defense, so look for them for, in California yep. to try to take advantage of that. And Jimmy Wheeler, if he gets some open space, he does have some speed here with Wheeler to his left, two receivers to his right, and a lone receiver all the way to his left. Fakes the handoff, gives a screen pass over to Smory. Smory has some room, picks up the first down and a little more before being thrown out of bounds. That's a great short pass there to get this California offense rolling here at the Rock. Yeah, and that's something we haven't seen too often. California hasn't gotten too much of a rhythm uh, there with the short passing game, and that's a great way to start out with a big first down, first first down in the game here for the Vulcans. Yeah, that short screen pass is something we've seen in the past from the Vulcans offense. Michael Keir finalizing some instructions. Jimmy Wheeler staying out there at the running back position for California. Wheeler to his left, two receivers, two Keirs. Left as well, alone. Receiver to the right, fakes that handoff once again. He's pressured, and he's going to be taken down with a loss about two. And that's the left side of this offensive line. We mentioned it there, and Marcus Martin gets the tackle for a loss and the sack. Again, that's a guy we mentioned in the pre in the before the game. He leads the Division II in terms of all-time history in the Division II football in terms of sacks. So that's a guy California's going to need to go after, and I believe lining him on California's left side of their offensive line is the best bet for the Slippery Rock defense. I agree. That young line, there's a lot of room for improvement, but it's nice to have those freshmen getting the reps in here in that shotgun position. Has three receivers all the way to the far side. He's going to hand that off to Wheeler. Wheeler gets those legs moving, gets to about the 40-yard line with a gain about of six. And for some people who are feeling a little bit of unease here about the running back drama, if you will, they should really soothe themselves and be fine because he got some touches last week and he found the end zone. So yep. there's really nothing to worry about here if you're a California Vulcans fan. And two years ago, we saw him a lot at the running back position. They were really low there on depth his freshman year. We saw him get a number of carries as he's getting stretched out now on the sideline. I saw a lot of big kick returns from Jimmy Wheeler as well that season. Agreed. He does have some speed. He likes to run that ball, Kier. Dropping back is Michael Kier. He gets rid of that ball. He's going to find Smory. Smory gets a few yards and more from that first down. And California's able to pick up that first down. It's actually rolls reverse. Both of these teams are high percentage on third down. Slippery Rock actually, California stopped them last time out. Slippery Rock is number one in the country in terms of picking up third down. So California kind of taking, uh, taking what Slippery Rock does and using their advantage. I like to think that's the uh, poise that Michael Keir has in the backfield as there's some discussion on the play. And no Jordan Dandridge as well at the wide receiver position. They have Tom Green, Luke Smory, and Chad Livingston out there. I can't see him on the sideline right now, but that, again, two, week in, two weeks in a row, not seeing number 14 out there for the Vulcans. That could be a huge hit. Wheeler gets that ball, puts his head down, gets past a few slippery rock defenders, and gains about three or four yards on that run. And that's a good establishing run there to really make sure that they're paying attention to both the pass and the rush here on defense for the Rock with their suspect run defense. California, they'll get their offense set with about 11.30 to go. If you're used to a, seeing a clock in that scoreboard, uh, there's some complications with the internet. So 
You will be without a scoreboard. I will be letting you know how much time's left in this game. Second and six. Kier. With five seconds to go on the play clock, and there's going to be a flag. Do you guys, what did you guys see on that one? I didn't see much there on that play. They're going to call, uh, I believe, against California. He's going to back them up here. They got to replay this play. I might have thought I saw a false start there. It's going to be a second and 11 for California. Not a situation they want to be in at this point in the game. Michael Keir. Wheeler's back out there running back after getting stretched out. So see if they try to draw maybe here with him. Keir has a man to his left and his right. Two wide receivers on the far side of the field. One lone one on the near side. Keir drops back. Looking to go long, and this one's way overthrown, out of bounds. His intended receiver was number six, Luke Smory. And Michael Keir may have been rushed there in that play when they called the hard count, uh, and Michael Keir changed the play. The play clock was down inside of seven seconds, so when he got that play clock, there's only five seconds left, so maybe him rushing that pass is the reason why it floated on him there on that one. A lot of different wide receiver combinations as number 10 Tyson Hill comes in for California. Luke Smory and Tom Green. On the far side, Tyson Hill and Chad Livingston on our near side. Kier has a man to his right. Three on the play clock. He gets that ball off. Pressured a little bit. Moves up in the pocket. Let's this one go. And this is going to be Tyson Hill for a big reception. He makes his way into the end zone for a California touchdown. And Steve, just as I go to say, this California offense is going to want to dodge these third and long situations. They make me eat my words here. A beautiful ball to the end zone. Six points for Cal. And that was just a little uh, bad play in the defensive end for Slipper Rock. The corner there jumped the route too early, and Tyson Hill just stayed in. He knew where that ball was going, caught that ball, and picked up the touchdown. His first touchdown as a Vulcan. California offense looking strong so far. Michael Keir really showing his strength in that passing game. They're called a penalty after the play, a dead ball personal foul. Uh, unsportsmanlike conduct, I believe, here against Slippery Rock. So that will back them up here on this next kickoff. William Brazil readying the extra point to make this one 7 nothing in favor of the Vulcans. The kick is up. And the kick is right down the middle. And it's good. 7 nothing. California Vulcans proving a point on offense. Stick with us for more force first quarter action here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Since 1937, the Student Association Incorporated, known as SAI, has served the Cal U student body by providing activities, programs, and services. Every enrolled student has the ability to take part in over 125 different clubs and organizations. Managing participation in every SAI activity is easy with OrgSync, a powerful tool for staying connected. Located one mile from campus, the SAI farm has 94 acres of meeting and recreational space. SAI, it's your student association. Welcome back into the Mahalik Thompson Stadium. California has the 7-0 lead over Slippery Rock as California fans are riddling this place, showing their California pride. Yeah, it's definitely great to see a large crowd out here for this game this evening, bringing the Adamson Stadium environment on the road. And some other athletes as well. we got some basketball players, so Tara Parsons down there. I see her, a couple other uh, women's basketball players here for California, and some soccer and softball players as well. So all the athletics get involved here in this big rivalry matchup here for California. Yeah, big rivalry as there's a couple discrepancies going on. The ref says it's A-OK -okay to kick that ball. <laughs> Will Brazil. This one's on the 50 due to that penalty on Slippery Rock for unsportsmanlike conduct. After that penalty, this one's going to go out of the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, and that's great there for California. We saw Slippery Rock get a good kickoff return last time up to the 40-yard line. This time they're going to be starting right at, uh, at the 20-yard line. So for California, you need to get another stop. 
Slippery Rock so great on third down, over 60% on third down, which is just unheard of. But California, those first two uh, third downs for them, they were able to pick two first downs up. Now this defense needs to come out strong yet again. Slippery Rock readying their offense in that shotgun position. Tanner Gary making his way out to conduct his offense. He has four wide receivers out there, two to his right, two to his left, one sidecar. He hikes the ball off. He's going to fake that handoff and run himself. He only gets a few on that one as the California defense comes and swarms him. And boy, has this defense come to play here today, especially against the number sixth ranked in the country passing offense here. I think that's a good put, a uh, good start there by California, keeping um, Brendan Edwards on Millie Ray. I don't not believe actually he's on him this time. Vondell Bell on the near side of the field is guarding Ray. Tanner Gary looks over his shoulder. That's going to be intercepted by the Vulcans. And that is going to be a pick six just like that, Jack. And that's Lamont McFadder now four games in a row. Now with a pick six, he's been a huge addition for this California defense, stepping up huge there and getting the interception for a touchdown. And if you didn't think the momentum was swinging in California's favor coming into this game or during this game, it is now. I think they were just focused heading into this. We saw them on the sidelines. They're, they weren't your typical selves out there being all crazy and act, acting with, uh, with some swagger. They just knew that job they came here to do, and that's exactly what they're out there doing. Great job by California uh, to start out this game. You couldn't ask for a much better start. McFadder with a pick six. And Brazil making this one 14 nothing, just like that with 10 minutes to go in the first quarter. California has a 14 to nothing lead over the Rocks. Stick, it, stick with us for more first quarter action right here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Dylan, what's wrong, man? I just don't know how my family back home in Buchanan, West Virginia can watch our stuff up here. They can follow us on Twitter or they can like us on Facebook. That's awesome, what about our sports? How can they watch that? They could watch it live right on our YouTube channel. Awesome, man, thanks. You're welcome. For the first time in 31 years, live high school football all season long on CUTV Sports One. And welcome back to CUTV. California Vulcans just took a 14 to nothing lead over Slippery Rock. That was Mc, Lamont McFadder with his fourth game in a row getting an interception. This one on a pick six. Huge addition here for this defense, a transfer from Ball State. This kick is way by Brazil. It's going to be received by Slippery Rock, making his way down the field, cutting in between Vulcan defenders, getting up to about the 40 and finally being dragged out of bounds. Again, Marcus Johnson, the 6'2 senior there with another great kickoff return back to around the 40-yard line. California's got to do a better job of kickoff coverage. That's usually the strength of this team. They do not give up too many long kicks. Uh, so you got to think they're going to try to pick that up as this game progresses again. And again, you can't take away from that great start, though. No, you can't. Colin, California getting a quick lead over this Slippery Rock offense. What do you think Slippery has to do against uh, this California defense? Slippery needs to have a good, consistent drive on offense here to really get the nerves out and make sure that they're still here to play. Edwards is back on uh, there in Billy, Millie Ray, so that's another matchup to look out for. Tanner Gary hands this one off to the Rock running back. First down and more up to about the 40-yard line. That was going to be number five for California, Brendan Blair with the tackle. Two tackles we've seen on uh, a couple plays here. That was actually Jazar Barry, uh, the redshirt freshman running back there for Slippery Rock, getting a carry here in this one. Tanner Gary, three wide receivers to his right. Hands this one off. This one's going to go right up the middle. California defense stuffs that one. Doesn't let the same mistake happen as it did last time. And there's the front seven really locking in here and keeping this defensive swing impact and intact here for Cal. I like that. Impact and intact. That's what California's defense has to stay. And in the center of this defense, you have Malik Aiken, you have Luke Rapchek, and Devontae Suber. Again, those are the three biggest factors for this defense. And this one's going to be handed off right up the middle. 
Number 21 for Slippery Rock, Dantes Rash, makes his way past the first down and into the face of California defense. And Shakar Barry there making a nice run up the middle to keep the chains moving here. And guys, interesting to note, reinforcements have arrived here for this California fan section as the band has taken their spot here. They've had a busy day, I believe, today. They had a band festival this morning and now making the trip up here to Slippy Rock. Tanner Gary hands this one off to Chakar Barry to his left. He's brought down with a gain about of about one. And so far, California is keeping Slippy Rock out of the air, forcing them to run the ball. That's uh, something we need to look out for as this game progresses. Again, this passing, six-ring passing team, as Colin mentioned earlier, in the country. Uh, California is going to need to do a better job of stopping that, but so far they've done a great job of keeping them on the ground. Uh, but now this is in California territory. It's a big, could be a big red zone stand here by this Vulcans defense. Tanner Gary has Marcus Johnson to his left. Millie Ray and two other wide receivers. He's going to go to Johnson. Johnson, that one's going to be overthrown. Ray right past his hands, setting up for a slippery rock third down. And I'll ask you guys here, if you're on third down, where do you go to maybe find the kink in the armor of this Cal defense here to start this game. I think you need to go to Millie Ray. That's your that's your real star player there. Four straight trips on uh, Sports Center for four straight Sunday mornings. So that could be a uh, big, he's lined up in the slot near side of the field. So look for them to try to attack that matchup. And that's a strong point. Two wide receivers to Gary's left and two to his right. One side car to his left. Gets a snap off, he drops back, he's gonna be pressured, and he's gonna be taken down to set up for the fourth down, a California sack. California's second sack now on this one. Again, we haven't seen that too much this season. Sacks for California's defense, and that's two straight possessions. Uh, actually, two of the first two possessions we've seen sacks for losses. So California, again, talking about getting that stand, this is uh, close to being out of field goal ranges. I believe we're gonna see a timeout here by, uh, no, no, it's timeout. They're switching up personnel. They may go for this one. Let's see what personnel they bring out here. And I believe they are going, I uh, know, punt team game. actually. So California was a big sack. They're getting them out of field goal range. And this one is going to be a timeout for California. Uh, it's really unfortunate there to have to burn that timeout when they appear to just be settling for a punt. But again, they ran that punt team out late. Uh, maybe just some personnel yep. issues there for California. And you never know, Slippery Rock might might have been trying to catch California off guard, and it seems like they did. 7-12 left in the game, and Colin, you have some scores around the PSAC for us. That's right. As we arrived here, I decided to take a little bit of initiative and jump on in here and check some scores. Out in the east, we had Kutztown traveling to Westchester, and Westchester took the win there, 27-21. Lock Haven on the road at the Shippensburg Raiders. Ship stays undefeated, picking up the 37-6 victory. Bloomsburg travels to Millersville. Bloomsburg picks up the win, 28-21. East Stroudsburg on the road at the Cheney Wolves. East Stroudsburg came away with that one, 33-13. And the Battle of Lake Erie, Gannon at Mercyhurst. A tight one as Mercyhurst pulls out the victory, 24-22. Two games that are currently still in action. We've got Clarion at Edinburgh, and the last as we've seen, it was 28-3 Burrow. And IUP at Seton Hill. Halftime was the last time we saw stats from that game. 30 to 14 in favor of the Crimson Hawks. And this PSAC conference, uh, you just don't know where it's going to go. Uh, there's a lot of mixing up. And uh, we're watching two fantastic teams in the PSAC West right now, Dylan. Yes, we are. Two very tough teams. Two high-powered offenses as well as they are going to go for the field goal now. So California gave them time to think about it. So it's going to be a long field goal here for Slippery Rock. Slippery Rock kicker has a 52-yard attempt right now. We'll see how much power he can get behind it. He's going to put this one up. It's up, and it's just short, just barely short. So a huge stop for that California defense. And talking about sacks, again, two sacks already here in this game. California only has five on the season. So a big 
play by the defense. The defense, that's something we talked about all week. I actually talked to Coach Craig before this game. He's mentioned maybe dogging our defense a little bit, but that may have been giving them a little bit of motivation, maybe him a little motivation hearing that. And he, of course, he's motivated, though, from hearing that from everyone, and not just us here at CTV, but everyone. The defense has been the weak point of this uh, team so far, but they have stepped up in a big way here today. Yeah, three straight, three straight drives for Slippery Rock and Three times California's defense has shut them down. Keir has two sidecars, one to his left, one to his right. Two wide receivers on his left and one lone one on his right. That's going to be Luke Smorey. Tom Green and Chad Livingston to his left. That one's going to be a fake handoff. A lot of pressure in the pocket, and Keir is going to be taken down by number 90, Rodez Henderson. And, guys, we've talked about it so far in this game. This slippery rock defense is really bringing the heat here, trying to turn up the heat on the Vulcans. Yeah, it might be getting a little chilly. Very ironic turning up the heat against California. They're usually ones that are turning up the heat. Keir finalizing his play. He's going to have a word with the offensive line, picking out the defense. He has one side card to his left, two wide receivers to his left as well, one lone to his right. And that one's going to be handed off to Jalen Bell. Jalen Bell, he breaks a couple tackles, and he's going to get up to about the 44. There's a flag here on this play. This may be either a uh, legal formation here by California offsides. I couldn't tell. Um, I believe that may be against Slippy Rock as the official is pointing over towards the Rock. And it's going to be offsides on the defense. Offsides on Slippery Rock. And that's going to definitely help in California's favor. And you just can't give this California offense free yards because they are too deadly on the offensive side of the ball. And something that I've always said, it's uh, tough for the defense to let up those yards because you can't get them back like you can on the offense. Kier. Finalizing his play, he has Tom Green, Chad Livingston to his left. Yeah, Dylan Stallings there as freshman as well at the tight end position. Uh, got away from that to California the first, uh, during the last couple games, but nice to see him back out there at the tight end position. Three left on the play clock. Kier has to get this one off. He does. He goes over to Tom Green. Tom Green unable to get that good defense by The Rock to make this one incomplete. Normally the reliable hands there in Tom Green that's really his strength is catching that football, uh, but he comes up with the drop there. You see him clapping his hands over there on that side of the field. Uh, frustrated maybe with himself after dropping that one. But now this is another big third down. California two for two so far. See if they can pick up another big one. Kier really taking his time on this one. Has 20 on the play clock. 5.52 to go in this first quarter. California has that 14-point lead. Kier with 10 seconds on the play clock. Trips here. Wouldn't be surprised. Maybe a little play action and go. Uh, maybe it's a screen over to the far side of the field. And Kier just getting this one off. He's going to scramble. He sees room. He sees a lot of turf. And he's going to make it the first down right after, right before stepping out of bounds. And Michael that's, Kier stepping up and uh, putting the offense on his shoulders. And that's good awareness there by Michael Kier to keep his eyes downfield and really see a lane for him to move through a maneuver and to grab a nice first down. It is a nice job there by Keir. We saw everyone on the left side of the field. He had trips to the left there, and Michael Keir knew if, if no one was open and they had a single receiver matchup man-to-man -man on this near side of the field, there'd be lots of running room, and that there was there. There's nobody spying the quarterback. You talk, defense is talking about that, and Keir's not normally a rushing quarterback, so they're not going to be spying him, but a nice awareness there by the senior quarterback. Keir with, fakes a handoff, goes over to Chad Livingston. Dylan, you're calling for a flag, but nothing. I'm sorry, that was number 87, Dylan Stallings, the freshman tight end. And that's a dangerous throw to make there with two defenders lurking in that general area. California running that no huddle offense. We haven't seen a lot of success on first and second down for this offense so far. It's just been on third down. They've been able to pick up the big plays to so see if that can change here. They're back to a four wide receiver set now. You have Livingston and Smory down here. Those are two targets that Michael Keir likes to hit. That could be something to look out for here on this play. Michael Keir has also has a sidecar to his left. He drops back. He's going to be pressured. He's going to get that check down man. That's going to be Jalen Bell. But Jalen Bell unable to hold on to that ball and he drops it, setting up for a third down. Good patience there to be able to sort that play out and attempt to find somebody who had a attempt to make positive game. And that defense just crashed the pocket putting Keir on his heels. 
and forcing him to throw to Jalen Bell. He was the hero last week here for the Vulcans. Is able to pick up a big uh, touchdown run with 18 seconds there to Kier to cap off the victory last week. So Kier making big plays uh, so far in this here in the season. And there's going to be a timeout called with about five seconds on that play clock. 5:13 left in this first quarter, and uh, for this drive, it's. It seems like California's offense is finally slowing down a little bit and Slippery Rock's defense kind of figuring them out, Colin. Yeah, definitely a feeling out process here, as you said in the beginning of the game, as always. But now it's time for these two teams to lock in and really settle down and provide a great game for us here in the booth and everybody here who drove out for this great game. Yeah, I agree that Sun is finally setting. And Dylan, how do you think California's offense looks so far early on in this game? Well, they're able to make big plays. I haven't seen the rhythm really pick up for this offense so far, uh, but they're able to pick up big third downs, and that, that's just been a big factor here in this one. Slip Rock hasn't been able to pick up those thirds downs. California's been making huge plays on third down. Uh, so here, California faces with another big third down and see if they can complete this and continue this drive. California has had some luck throughout this game on third down. We'll see if they can keep it up. Four wide receivers on the field. Chad Livingston goes in motion. Trips on Michael Kier's left. Kier. Awaiting the snap. He does. He looks to his left. He has a man open down the field. He goes, and it's caught. It's received. He has room down the field, but is taken down about the six-yard line. Michael Keir does it again on third down. Craig Thompson with a fantastic grab here to get this California team back in the red zone once again. There's actually Beauregard Jones, I believe, there, running back there, number 83 there for California. He's seen him make a couple big plays here this season. It really, we saw him against Millersville for the first time when Jordan Dandridge went down. So big play again by California and a wonderful throw. You cannot take much away from that throw by Michael Keir. Put that right in the window. That's about a 30-yard throw, and he put it right on the money. And ladies and gentlemen, I think we had our first dilly dime of the game from Michael Keir. And folks, I promise once the sun goes down, we will get these names right. As, as Dylan said, that was Beauregard Jones. A little tough to see here, but we definitely we're able to see that perfect throw by Michael Keir in that perfect catch. I actually think he was right there. I believe that was 27. Uh, it's my bad calling. I think that was Craig Thompson. <laughs> oh, that's totally fine. As Steve it's said, right. we're having a little bit of issues up here with the sun right in our eyes. Michael Keir, two receivers to his left, two to his right. One side car to his right. He gives that off to Jalen Bell. Jalen Bell unable to get anywhere. Brought down by the slippery rock off defense. We haven't seen the run game really. We thought that would be the strength of this offense. It hasn't really gotten going. Just for Michael Kier picking up that big run. He's probably our leading rusher here with his big run there on third down to pick up the first. Uh, but so far, it's been Michael Kier making huge plays. I think that's really been California's offensive uh, MVP so far is Michael Kier just making big third down throws and none better than that last one to pick up that big third down. Michael Kier, the conductor of this train we call the Vulcans offense. Kier fakes that handoff. He's going to go to his right. He's going to go to Smory. Smory picks up a few yards, and Smory drops that ball. It's loose. We'll see who picks this one up. It's going to be California. Chad Livingston picks that ball up, but I think the refs are going to call Luke Smory down. Actually, they're going to call incomplete pass. They're on that one saying he did not complete the throw. The com police, and we're going to see a replay here uh, on the big board. You can't see it there, but that's a tough one as... <laughs> Colin swats a mosquito right out of the sky, right in front of us. I'm not sure. That's an NFL you call that. Uh, you call that incompletion. I believe that's a catch here in college. And California may be getting the raw end of this deal as Chad Livingston picked up the fumble and looked like he had open space in front of him. Could possibly have scored a touchdown. So this is an interesting call here by the officials. See, if they, see what they end up making. Yeah, and they're all gathered together around the 10-yard line discussing what exactly what they're going to call but this California offense it seems like they're really they're uh, getting back on pace it definitely Michael Keir, they're going to root incomplete pass I'm very surprised there by that call I guess California is catching a break I guess they was out of fumble but man that looked like a catch to me yeah that was a tough call to make Michael Keir getting ready to get this one off he's had some luck on third down. He has trips to his right. One lone receiver to his left. 
Jalen Bell to his right. Under 10 seconds on the play clock to get the snap off. Here, another audible here by Michael Keir. See if he's able to pick up another big third down throw. Just gets the snap off. He has a man. He has Luke Smoy. Luke Smoy's going to catch this one, and I'm not sure if he's going to pick up the first down as he's dragged out of bounds. That's an interesting spot. I think, oh, wow, they're going to spot him back all the way at the 13-yard line. I'm not real sure about that spot. It looked like he was right at the... 10 yard line with this forward progress but they're going to bring out the field goal unit there oh that's a tough one yeah that's a tough one to spot but William Brazil looking to put three more points on the board for California and we saw him make a career high uh, four field goals last week there in that ball game three, three field goals excuse me and, and there's going to be a flag on the play. Delayed game here. Uh, just didn't get that ball off in time. And this puts William Brazil in a difficult situation, Colin. Yeah, he's definitely kicking towards the sun here, and that's not always an easy thing to do with that sun really getting in your eyes. Not a lot of wind, though. I don't see the flags moving too much. So see if he's able to hit this one. He's been reliable all season so far here for the Vulcans. Brazil gives his holder the nod. He's going to get this kick off. It's a line drive. It's up, and it's going to be good. California, they're going to take a 17-point lead over the Rock of Slippery Rock. Stay tuned for more first quarter action right here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Dylan, what's wrong, man? I just don't know how my family back home in Buchanan, West Virginia can watch our stuff up here. They can follow us on Twitter or they can like us on Facebook. That's awesome. What about our sports? How can they watch that? They could watch it live right on our YouTube channel. Awesome, man. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> For the first time in 31 years, live high school football all season long on CUTV Sports 1. And welcome back to Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania for this PSAC West rivalry between Slippery Rock and California. California just took a 17-0 lead over Slippery Rock with a William Brazil field goal. Yeah, with a William Brazil field goal, but the quick little nugget here, 17-0 leads have not been safe here in California games as they were up 17-0 on Shepard, and Shepard came back, and then IUP was up 17-0 on California. California came back last year, so 17-0, uh, not a favorable score here. William Brazil gets his kick away. It's going to be Marcus Johnson making his way up the field, finally brought down around the 20-yard line. There was big coverage. Excuse me there. got my mic a little close to my mouth. But big coverage there by California, able to get, uh, get them stopped there inside the 20-yard line. Big kickoff coverage. And Dylan really tearing the hearts out of Vulcan <laughs> fans there with that little nugget. I know I personally That's, felt that one. That wasn't just a little nugget. That was kind of a big. That was kind of a big nugget. Yeah, it was a big nugget there. Is <laughs> right, in the Shepherd game last year we were up seventeen nothing, but also in the first I, in the Coal Bowl I believe IUP was up seventeen nothing on us as well, and uh, we came back and won that one. Tanner Gary gets set for his offense. No leads are safe when it's seventeen to nothing. And he's just going to shovel this one off to number 21, Dantes Rash. Rash, he gets about a two-yard gain on that one. And personally, I always fear when my team or any other team in general really tries to attempt a shovel pass. You never really know where that ball is going to go when it's rolling end over end. And you saw Washington State last night uh, complete a shovel pass for a touchdown against that upset um, against USC. That was basically like a run, though, for California, and that's the strength of their defense, the rushing defense. Another pitch out to Rash. Rash only picking up about two again on this, on that rush. And there they go once again trying to prove me wrong. They're going to say, Colin, <laughs> we are going to do it, and you are going to think it, it's safe. <laughs> Slippery Rock trying to get their offense set as it's going to be a third and three. That was a gain of four on that last rush. Tanner Gary. Has one lone wide receiver to his right, two to his left. He's 
going to have Isaiah Neely. He's going to fake the handoff to Neely. He's going to take it himself. And he just gets stopped by the brick wall we call the Vulcans defense. And there's a fight with punches being thrown on the opposite side of the field as Justin Baker uh, got punched, I believe, right in the face. As we may see an ejection after this one. That was completely away from the ball. A couple of big hits there. He had the hit right on the ball. And I saw Justin Baker had a guy on top of him. His helmet was off, and then he was throwing punches. And guys, some bad blood being displayed here in this game, as we expected. And Justin Baker's one of the nicest guys I know. I'm just from hanging out with him when I was on the team. He was just so level-headed. You never saw him show too much emotion, so very surprised by that. And uh, before the game, I believe you got an interview with Justin Baker as well. Yeah, we interviewed him there along the sideline as well. There, uh, You can check that out on our Twitter, at CUTV underscore PA. And as we're awaiting to see... They're going to offset those penalties. Man, I did not see. I saw that the whole way. Justin Baker didn't even retaliate. Uh, he just got punched. He was on the ground. I guess maybe the other player's helmet was off there for Slippy Rock. Maybe he ripped it off before that even happened. But I saw punches being thrown by a Slippy Rock player. And you see Mrs. Baker in the stands. Probably the biggest diehard California fan. Uh, big fan of CUTV as well. Shout out to her. But I agree, Dylan. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't see it. You were focused on that play. That was a few yards away from the action. Slippery Rock once again throwing California off guard, bringing the punting team out. Yeah, bringing out last minute, trying to catch California off guard. But, again, they have to allow California to substitute as well. This punts away, almost blocked by California. It's going to be fair caught, and that takes a California bounce around the 40-yard line. It's going to be in between the 40 and 41-yard line. And now that's 0 for 4, I believe, now for Slippy Rock. 60% on the season in terms of picking up third downs, and they have been unsuccessful in doing so. This California defense is stepping up in a huge way here early. And, Colin, what do you see in California's defense? What are they doing right to stop this strong, slippery rock offense? They are just pushing all the right buttons to you, the best way to put it there. They, as we talked about before, they really wanted to prove that they're better than what they are. I think they're really getting them up front, getting pressure on the quarterback, stopping the run, not allowing him to get a lot of time. Millie Ray's been a non-factor so far for this slippery rock offense. If it continues, I don't want to jinx it, but... Maybe not five weeks in a row in Sports Center. Maybe not, and we'll see. We have a lot of game left as we have two minutes and seven seconds left in the first quarter. California is still holding that 17-point lead. And I think Coach Dunn's upset about the, the punches that were thrown there. That's something that you cannot have that. Uh, that's an automatic ejection anytime a punch is thrown. And they showed it up on the big board as well. Uh, and I'd be frustrated if I was Coach Dunn as well. Yeah, I would be too. And Coach Dunn, he's someone that... Uh, doesn't hold in his opinions. He will let the man in stripes know. And he cares about his players, too. Exactly. That's something That's where if important. somebody's throwing punches at you, you don't want to retaliate. So Coach Dunn's frustrated by that because now he's staying out on the field after he just threw punches at his own player there. Here, sidecar to his left. That's going to be Jimmy Wheeler. This ball is going to be faked the handoff to Wheeler. Kier gets this one away. He's going to have Smory. Smory picks up that first down and a couple more. And that one hits Smory right in the numbers there, right in the good old bread basket. Kier is stepping up so far on the road, showing why he's such a big player, getting some preseason accolades there. Second team All-America last season. He is showing why here in this ballgame. Yeah, and just a little bucket, button hook performed, executed perfectly by Smory and Kier. Kier has Jimmy Wheeler right behind him. Wide receiver to his left, wide receiver to his right. Safeties are up high here. See if they, they're all going to keep the ball on the ground. Wheeler picks up about three on that one. It's gonna be that's gonna bring a second and seven. And he took a lick there too, heading towards the ground. That never feels good. Uh, if, if safety stay only about ten yards downfield, do not be surprised if California try to take a deep shot here. They're keeping those safeties right now. They're right exactly ten yards uh, back from this offense. So. I think Michael Kier might see that. It is a too high look, but normally when you see a too high safety look, California try to get that ball on the ground. Let's see if we see that, or Michael Kier might try to take a shot here. Michael Kier, 10 seconds left on the play clock. Jimmy Wheeler to his right, two wide receivers to his left, and two on his right. 
Jim Wheeler cuts his way through the Slippery Rock defense, picks up a gain of about two. And again, with the numbers game that we're mentioning, um, that's a numbers game you want to win. If you only have, if you have two safeties back deep, the numbers wise, you're you're helped out as you only have seven guys in the box if you're Slippery Rock. So California needs to take advantage of that. Didn't get too many yards there, but that's going to set up another third down and short. But again, that's what we've seen the best of this offense so far is on third down. That we have. We'll see if that can keep up as Kier has trips to his left. That sun is finally going down. And the temperature dropped, I yeah. think, 10 degrees with it. <laughs> we all took a quick pause there to throw on our extra layers. Kier getting this snap off just barely. He's going to be pressured. He gets that ball off. This is going to be tipped. Two slippery rock defenders run into each other, almost intercepted, but it's going to fall incomplete. And guys, I noticed there on the defensive effort there, 45 for the Rock. That is Tim Vernick. He took a couple of shots there. He took a head-to-head -head collision with his own teammate, and he also took something for the lower body. And here, I believe the punt team is going to head out, and just one punter now here for California. And uh, we may, again, we usually see the two tandem punt team. Uh, now we just have Michael Keir back. But again, do not be surprised. We've seen uh, California a little trickeration in years past. Don't be surprised if we see some, some fake action here on the uh, special teams for California. Keir, he gets his punt off. And this is going to take a slippery rock bounce around the 10-yard line. And that'll do it for the first quarter. California has a 17-point lead. Yes, 17-point lead over the rock of slippery rock. Stay tuned for the second quarter here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Save preset one for Cal U's best music. More music in the car. More music in the door. More music everywhere. This is, this is 91.9 WCAL Power 92. The home of the Vulcan Nation. Playing Cal U's best music. 91.9 WCAL. WCAL Power 92. And welcome back to some second quarter action in Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania, California. Has that 17-point lead over the Rock right now. And we had some first half stats, first quarter stats. Tanner Gary, one of the top passers in the country, is held for one for six for only three yards. That's the top, that's the top six team passing in the in the NCAA. Tanner Gary, he's gonna drop back, he's gonna go long. And this one is gonna be caught around the 50-yard line. And no, it's gonna be. They are going to call it a catch. But again, just like what we saw from California earlier, Vondell well, from, from Slippy Rock's defense on California touchdown, Vondell about jumped up too early to make that, that catch and uh, try to make the deflection. And it actually, it falls right into the lap of the Slippy Rock player. And guys, look for this to be a spark plug here for this somewhat quiet Rock offense. That was a 40-yard pass from Gary, and this is going to be handed off to number 25, Isaiah Neely. Neely not able to get really anywhere on that run. Yeah, I completely jinx that with a three yards passing and he goes for 40 <laughs> yards in the very next play. But again, that's that's a stat we need to mention though, is they're number one in the PSAC and passing number six in the country there at 359 yards per game. Yeah, as you said, you kind of jinx it. He barely, like before you even got those words out of your mouth, he's already <laughs> out here proving you're wrong. <laughs> that's how it works out, right? Tanner Gary. A man to his right, two wide receivers to his right as well. He's going to fake this handoff. California's defense is rushing, and they're going to take Tanner Gary down for a loss of about one. That's three sacks now, and only average. had five sacks coming into this game to this defense all season long, and already three here in this one. Mentioned it earlier, California is winning the battle up front. This defensive line is taking control of this game right now. Yeah, and they're really pressuring Tanner Gary. Uh, he's unable to find his main receiver, as we've seen so far in this game. McFadder, he's going to be the one covering um, Miley Ray throughout this game, really shutting him down. Tanner Gary in the backfield. He's going to drop back. California's rushing once again, and California's defense is going to take him down once again to bring up a slippery rock fourth down. 
and what an impact this team is having on the defensive side of the ball here today. Really a tale of two games compared to last weekend. And now is Justin Baker. His mama always gives us some love here at CUTV. She always mentioned, we got to mention his name. She turned around saying yes. And got, her, got her boy there with that sack. Four sacks now for this California defense. And we're not even in a halftime yet. And this punt is away. This is going to be number 23, D'Angelo Mitchell with the return. Mitchell, he only gets to about the 15-yard line, and this will bring out California's offense. And guys, as we wait for the transition here, something I'd like to bring up about this California team is the impact that special teams play for them as well. They are all over the field, whether it be today's game, the game before, making efforts, safeties. How often do you hear safeties in a football <laughs> game? And they're just making a common vocabulary here. Yeah, and I, oh, go ahead, Dylan. It's just the, our, our special teams coordinator is really where that starts there, and that is Coach Wilson there for California, Coach Larry Wilson. He's been here for a number of years, the longest tenured coach on this coaching staff for California that's been here at Cal U. He just bleeds blue, uh, blue I'm sorry, that's my <laughs> high school, red and black there for California. He loves this Vulcans team, and he's just proven that here in this first half, of just in this whole season, just with the special teams play by the Vulcans. Here, 10 seconds on the play clock. He has four wide receivers, one side card to his left. Five seconds left on the play clock. He's going to get this snap off. He's going to go long. He has a man, and this is going to be incomplete, and I'm surprised there's no flag called. The slippery rock defender was on that wide receiver like white on Bryce. And our referees here in the stands for sure are calling for a flag on that one. Dylan, professional opinion, yes or no? Uh, it's a tough call there. Both guys are battling there. But again, we just haven't seen California be able to get deep shots this season. You don't have the big play playmaker like you had last year in Gary Brown uh, at the outside. There's just, that speed that he had is just uncomparable, really. Uh, you don't really expect that. That's a once in a 10- to 20-year yeah. player there at the wide receiver position. I agree. It's tough to adapt to the scenarios. Kier's going to fake the handoff. He's going to go to Smory. This one's a little too far to Smory's left, and he's unable to get it for an incomplete pass. It's a run pass option there by California. Michael Kier has the option to hand that ball off, depending on what that linebacker that's guarding Luke Smory does, and he chose to uh, try to hit the pass. He was just behind Luke Smory there. He was open. Uh, Michael Kier just was behind him there, but Kier's been shining on third down. Let's see if he can do it yet again. Let's see if Kier can keep up that third down luck. He is about 15 on the play clock. He's going to rearrange his offense. He has trips out to his left. One lone wide receiver to his right. He's going to get this one off. He's going to go long. He's going to go to Tom Green, and Tom Green unable to get that one a little too far ahead of them, bringing up a California fourth down. And, guys, you had to expect a little bit of a cool off here for this offense on third down, especially against the number one passing defense in the PSAC there in Slippy Rock. It was unfamiliar for them to be giving up so many big plays through the air, uh, but they finally stepped back up. And now this field position battle for California is going to swing back in favor of Slippery Rock because they should have great field position after this punt. We'll see what Michael Keir can do as he's ready to punt this one away. He does. It's going to be a high one. It's going to be a fair catch for Slippery Rock at about the 48-yard line. Again, talking about that great field position. They are going to get the ball right at their own 47-yard line, but you can't ask for much more there uh, right around the 50-yard line. See if this defense can continue their dominant play here early on. And as you see on your screen there, a nice shot of the crowd on the home side. And guys, what a picture-perfect evening for college football here. There's not a single cloud in the sky right now. This is this is football weather. If you if you could ask for much more, this is football weather to the T. The lights are on here. This is old school, bit of a feel of a Friday night yep. here. Uh, this is great. This is a great football atmosphere. Tanner Gary gets that screen pass to Johnson. Johnson picks up a few yards before finally stepping out of bounds. And again, not, no Millie Ray. That's the guy we've been used to seeing here for Slipper Rock this season. Johnson's been the guy for Slippy Rock that's been getting the majority of the targets here in this first half. 12-15 and moving. Second and two for Slippery Rock. Tanner Gary has trips to his right. He's going to hand this one off. And not much to gain from that run as the California defense is going to stuff them in the backfield. 
And building off of that last play, that's something we've really seen teams take to the field to try to take down this multiple-headed monster here on defense for California. They've really been picking them apart with these small screen plays. Yeah, it's just, it takes replace of a run. You can't run up the middle against this defense, and that's just the way that they try to take advantage of it. And California jumped off sides. The center should have snapped it there for Slippery Rock, but he didn't because they would have had a free play. But again, this is a third down and short. I expect them to go through the air. This front seven for California has been tough here early on. Five left on the play clock. Tanner Gary's going to keep this one. He's going to get leveled in the back, in the backfield for a gain of only two. If that, that may be right back at the line of scrimmage. That's right at the first down marker. The official on the far side of the field may have given him a first down with that spot, and they're going to call fourth down now. I expect them to go for it here. Uh, they kept it on the ground, and like I mentioned, there's just not much going. This front line here for this defense, Justin Baker, Malik Akins, those are tough guys to get around. And then you have Luke Rapcheck back there at linebacker. That's just not a recipe for success to try to go head to head against that. No, sir. Fourth and one. Tanner Gary, California bringing the noise right now. This is a big play in the second quarter with about 10.40 left. It's a huge crowd here for California. You couldn't ask for a much bigger of a crowd. And this one's going to be handed off, and the Slippery Rock running back is going to pick up that first down. And you kind of have to expect to see something like that coming here with such a, I wouldn't say large, but a moderate deficit here early in the game. Slippery Rock trying to get this momentum going. Trips to the right. Tanner Gary drops back. He's going to go in the air. He decides not to. He's going to keep this one himself. Only picks up about one yard on that game, bringing up a second down. Yeah, and that clock's ticking fast in his head there. He didn't have the pressure coming at him. He, he decided to start running, but I think that has to do with being sacked four times. If you're waiting in there three or four seconds, you've got to be feeling the rush coming. He didn't have rush there, but that's just... That's just based off of the, the defensive line getting such a pass rush early on. He's starting to get in his head a little bit. Tanner Gary drops back. He's going to feel the pressure from California's defense. He goes over to Johnson. Johnson picking up only about five on that play. And good hands there by Johnson to really look that one in and make a good game. And you really counter that pressure by hitting them with screens there. It looked like he had, they had great rush, but they were setting up a screen play. Great job there by the secondary and the outside linebackers here for California to stop that screen play. Actually, a gain of four, third and five coming up. Again, this team, I think they're yet to complete a third down here so far. So see if this defense can step up yet again. Uh, they've been impressive so far on third downs. Do not expect them to go. I expect them here, excuse me, to go towards Millie Ray. Yeah, is the non-factor here so far. Gary goes over to Ray. Ray picks this one up with a diving catch, and it's going to be ruled complete, but not enough for that first down. Yeah, I believe that is going to be short of a first down, but uh, I think they're going to go for it here. Again, just like I said, right on cue, going towards Millie Ray. He's just short of the yard to gain there. Big fourth down and five here. Tanner Gary. Has trips to his left. He gets a snap off. He's going to go short to Millie Ray. Millie Ray has room to run. He decides to go, change his position, and he's going to be taken down, and they're going to pick up another first down off that four, fourth down completion. Yeah, that's an excellent play call design there, getting the ball in space with the wide receiver bubble screen to your guy there in Millie Ray. Uh, that's an excellent play design there on that third down. California just didn't have the numbers out there. That's the first time they were able to pick up a third down and see if this office can continue their momentum to try to answer California. Still with that zero up there on the scoreboard is the Rock. 8-10 left in this second quarter. That clock is ticking along. Tanner Gary drops back a shovel pass to his running back. Not enough to get to the first down, but close. About a 5 the six yard game, there's gonna be a flag on the play. Maybe holding hands to the face. We'll see what the ref has to say. Holding on the offense, and this play is gonna be brought back for Slippery Rock. You try to hit California quick there, not a lot of time, but in that short amount of time, they were able to hold there. Nice spot there by the back, the head official actually, there with that call, and that's setting them back now, first and 20 close to being on field goal range. So if California's defense has a time to step up, again, this will be it. Slippery Rock readying their offense. Tanner Gary has trips to the right. 
15 on the play clock. He gets a snap off. He's going to get it to Millie Ray. Millie Ray dives just to get up about to the line of scrimmage for a gain of about eight on that. And that's a smart play call there to really attack this huge yarded situation and break it down into small chunks. Yeah, you're correct there, but they're getting it to their guy. I think that's uh, what they're doing here. Three straight passes to their guy there, Millie Ray. Trying to get to their man, Millie Ray, of course. This is going to be a fake handoff. Millie Ray open up in the middle of the field. Luke Rapchak had his hands on that, a potential interception, but dropped it. And Tanner Gary, he was hit after that throw, and he's limping around now trying to just pick himself up. Oh, and that second interception for the game, possibly for this California team, just slips away. Luke Rapchak really wanting to get his hands on that second interception of the game. A big stand from California's defense, bringing up a third and 12. Tanner Gary, he has the trips to his right. Miley, Millie Ray, one of those wide receivers. Gary stepping back, finding his running back. And he's going to go all the way to about the three-yard line with a huge gain on the play. Give him 27 yards on that one. And that's frustrating there for California. You knew third down along. You knew the screen was coming. And all there was about six guys that ran past the player there. That's just a frustrating play for this California defense. And guys, do you smell that? The rock is starting to cook here. <laughs> And that's a good one, a gain of 20, 25 on that screenplay. Tanner Gary. It's a, it, was a not, it wasn't a good play on defense by California, but a smart offensive call there. That's, that's the textbook third down alone is just the screen there to your running back. And uh, I think California should have been expecting that a little bit better. And this one's going to be handed off, and he's going to dive into the end zone. And just like that, the Rock is on the board. Actually, he may have fumbled that one out of the back of the end zone there. He threw out the pouch, and it went into the end zone and out of bounds. That's going to be a touchback California ball if that's what they end up calling. And we'll see what happens here as, as the refs have a lot to discuss. And you can see the – we can see the ball there. Right. It's on the one-inch line, it looks like. Very close, if it'll be the Rock's ball or if it'll be Cal's ball. And they're going to say that the refer the referees are going to say that he fumbled that ball just before he got into the end zone. And fumbled it out of bounds, what they're going to call, not out of the back of the end zone. That would have been a huge break for this defense if he did fumble it out of the end zone. And that would have been a break that California's defense really needed, especially on this drive. Slippery Rock setting up for a second down. Still trying to get this one moving, and we are back underway. Tanner Gary sets up his offense on that three-yard line. He's going to get this one off. He's going to hand it off to his running back, trying to plow his way through, and we'll see what the refs have to say as there's a Powell up on the goal line. I'm going to say he's short of the yard to gain there. Defense making a stand here. Uh, you think of the third down and one here at the at third down and goal at the one uh, this is favorable for Slippery Rock, but California making a defensive stand so far. Isaiah Neely not being able to catch a break for Slippery Rock as he's been denied multiple times. We'll see what they do now. Gary hands it off to Neely. Neely puts his head down. He's going to make his way into the end zone for a Rock touchdown. This is going to be 17 to 6 pending the field goal. And there's the cannon in the left end zone area of this field. And Tanner Gary is excited to see his Rock offense finally break through and get on the board here. Yeah, great for the Slippery Rock offense to finally get on the board. It took them a while. It's a nice long drive here by the Slippery Rock team to answer California. California coming out strong, 17 to nothing to start this game out. But Slippery Rock answers right back. Slippery Rock getting ready for this extra point. Jake Chapla, he's going to put this one up. Up and right down the middle for the Rock. Seven points. California has a 10-point lead going into the rest of the second quarter. Six minutes left. Stay tuned for more action right here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. 
Since 1937, the Student Association Incorporated, known as SAI, has served the Cal U student body by providing activities, programs, and services. Every enrolled student has the ability to take part in over 125 different clubs and organizations. Managing participation in every SAI activity is easy with OrgSync, a powerful tool for staying connected. Located one mile from campus, the SAI farm has 94 acres of meeting and recreational space. SAI, it's your student association. And welcome back to the second quarter action between California and Slippery Rock. Slippery Rock coming off a touchdown, making this one 17 to 7. Yeah, nice answer there by Slippery Rock. That's the kind of drive they needed. Nothing flashy really there on that drive. There's a nice long drive to answer this California team. Slippery Rock kicking this one away, and this one almost makes it way to the end zone. Luke Smorey. He's going to be the one that picks it up. A nice little gain there, making his way up to the 25-yard line, finally being brought down by a plethora of Slippery Rock defenders. Oh, Steve, I like that. That's a vocabulary bonus for sure, plethora. Thank you, but Thank it's you gonna Professor be Colin. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> but it's going to be important here for this California offense to really keep the pedal to the metal here. Don't let up. Keep putting points on the board here. And that's exactly what their offense is going to want to do as Michael Keir leads his offense back onto the field. I think you've got to try to get the ground game going, though, if you're California. You can't just rely on getting passing yards against this defense. Again, they're the number one passing defense in the PSAC. You've got to be able to mix it up both through the run and uh, through the air. Keir has one man in the backfield. That's going to be Jimmy Wheeler. Two wide receivers, one to his right, one to his left. He's going to just barely get this one off Wheeler. He's going to be given the nod. He's going to try to make his way up the field. He does, and he gets up to about the 30-yard line with about a five-yard gain. Had around eight guys in the box there. My bad, they're calling. Again, it's a little tough. We've been doing good, <laughs> good so far, but there we kind of trip over ourselves. They won the number game, numbers game there, had eight guys in the box that Slippy Rock, and uh, California was able to pick up over five yards. That's a win nine times out of ten for California's offense. What were you going to say there, Colin? I was just going to say I'm impressed with Jimmy Wheeler's quick feet there and the ability to get up the field in a hurry and patience as well. Michael Keir has two, man to, two men to his right. One man in the backfield, one side car to his left. He's going to put number 82, Nathaniel Scott, in motion. And this one's going to be handed off to Jimmy Wheeler. Jimmy Wheeler tries to find some space, unable to pick up that first down. It's going to be a third down. It's a flag there in the uh, area of holding here against California. So this offense has finally uh, done great so far in limiting penalties, but I believe they're going to call for holding here. Actually going to call a chop block there. They had originally engaged and then diving in at the legs. You're not allowed to do that there if you're California. Yeah, California really needs to get that discipline down. They've been doing a great job so far throughout this whole game. But now California has to overcome a little bit of adversity as they're backed up a little ways. Yeah, you don't want to go backwards if you're the offense. Again, just can't afford those penalties if you're the Vulcans. Michael Keir trying to figure things out as the referee's going to back them up a tad bit more. And as we wait here, quick update from those other two PSAC West games that are in action. We've got... A 42-10 lead in the fourth quarter for Edinburgh over Clarion and a 57-14 lead for IUP over Seton Hill, also fourth quarter. And we're going to be keeping a close eye on those games as we watch California take on Slippery Rock. Kier, two wide receivers to his left, one to his right, and he's going to hand this one off. Going straight up the middle was Jalen Bell. Jalen Bell only getting a few on that play as third down will be next. A third down will be next. Actually, I think that was Jimmy Wheeler there as Jalen Bell now trots on out for the Vulcans. Again, he's dealing with a shoulder injury there, so uh, you got to limit his usage if you're California to keep him healthy. And now with an obvious passing down here for California, a couple guys back deep here for the Rock. And you'd have to expect a throw for Michael Keir. He has Luke Smory to his right, trips to his left. Eight seconds left on the play clock. 
Michael Keir drops back. He's going to be pressured, and he's going to be taken down, and he's going to be called down just before giving up that football. Yeah, we mentioned the left side of the line there, and they just got beat right away. Uh, Jalen Bell was just kind of asking what could I have done there, just pressure coming in so fast against him. But again, you have guys like Marcus Martin, uh, just tough to defend if you're California. Yeah, Marcus Martin showing why he is such a defensive threat on this slippery rock team as California's punting unit will be coming out. Every time he picks, like, picks up a sack, that's a record-breaking sack because he is the all-time leader there in Division II football history. Kier gets his punt away. It's going to be skied to about the 45. And Slippery Rock yet again in some pretty decent territory. Yeah, we mentioned that field position battle flipping there with that punt. Two possessions go there for California. Slippery Rock was able to score there on that drive. And now yet again as this quarter, as this first half nears an end with only 324 left to go. This would be a big chance to cut this maybe down to a three-point lead if you're able to pick up a touchdown if you're Slippy Rock. This is get now with ball in enemy territory here. Uh, this is a great opportunity here for the Rock. And what do you think, Colin? All eyes on California's defense? All eyes on California's defense and also all eyes on Slippery Rock's defense. You couldn't expect them, that number one ranked defense, to continue to let up those long passes down the field. Tanner Gary, he's going to be brought down by multiple Vulcans at the 50-yard line with a loss of five. And that's Corey Bob as well. They're making a huge play. Now five sacks. They have done, They have matched their number season total heading into this game, picking up five sacks in the first half. A great showing by, again, this front seven here by California. And I'll tell you what, Colin, you can't get that ball to uh, Millie Ray if you keep getting sacked. Yeah, if you're getting swarmed like that, it's going to be very difficult to move that ball up the field or anywhere in general on the field. Tanner Gary in the backfield. He's going to drop back as the referees are going to throw a flag on the play. A false start. That's going to be a false start on Slippery Rack. Slippery Rock, not Slippery Rack. <laughs> Moving them back a little further. Yeah, definitely. Again, backing yourselves up. We mentioned about their great field position. Now they're at the opposite 45-yard line. So California's defense getting the sack and then catching a break there with a false start. Again, they were backed up in a position last time, but they were able to fight back and pick up a, a first down. So see if his defense can hold here. Tanner Gary, he's going to be rushed. He's going to just get this one to the running back. He's going to make his way to the 50 with about a gain of five, but still a third and 15 coming up. Yeah, definitely, but you kind of expect those Greens to be coming if you're California now. You're getting a huge pass rush. The quarterback there and Gary does not want to stand back in the pocket too long. They're going to be calling screens. Uh, that's something maybe they can adjust for come the second half. Tanner Gary getting his guys on the field trying to get California to jump. And if California could withstand this slippery rock offense, they have a chance at the ball. And Gary Dunn loves the score late in the half. Tanner Gary drops back, and this one's going to be broken up by number two, Aaron Brown, almost intercepted. And what an effort there by Aaron Brown to break that pass and to get his hands in the middle of that throwing lane. Good job to him. And yeah, we've seen him get beat a couple times this season deep, Aaron, Aaron Brown, and he's wearing that number two, kind of like Aaron Terry did last season in a year's pass there for California, making a huge play. We mentioned the field position battle. Now California makes a huge defensive stop. And this one is going to be punted away sky high at about the 10 yard line. And we'll mark it down at about the 8. And this is going to be some rough field position to get this drive started with here for sure, with your backs to the end zone. And I've said this before Gary Dunn loves to score in about the last 60 seconds of the half. And he has two timeouts left with 142 left on the clock. This is a good time for your offense to try to build momentum back. This is kind of the momentum shifting towards Slippery Rock. The offense hasn't had anything go in the last couple drives. So it would be a big time to get your mojo back at the offensive side of the ball. I agree. Kier making his way back out on the field. They're positioned at the 8-yard line, pinned down in their own territory. Kier has Jalen Bell to his left. We're going to be looking for a run. That's going to be Smory in motion. This is going to be handed off to Jalen Bell. Jalen Bell picks up a few yards before being brought down. I tell you what, we've been talking all about this rushing defense being the weakness of this Slippy Rock team, and they've done a fantastic job here early on. Just no holes for the California running backs. 
That's right, and they're really locking in here in the front of this line for Slippery Rock, as we talked about earlier. Second and 10 coming up. No gain on that play, actually. Jalen Bell not able to get pick up any yards on that last run. That clock is ticking with about 105 left in, this, in the first half. Now down to one minute, under five on the play clock. Down to one, and Keir just gets this one off. He's going to hand it off to Jalen Bell. Jalen Bell mixes his way for about a gain of one. I guess they're content as now Slippery Rock's going to... I don't agree with this decision here by California. Is Slippery Rock's going to call a timeout? I believe, right, that's the Slippery Rock timeout. Yeah, they're stopping that clock. Third and ten. Maybe Slippery Rock's looking for another opportunity to score. Yeah, I, I'm not sure about that. That's just, that's tough there for California. I thought it would be a great opportunity to try to get some mojo back in your offense a favor here, but they're electing to just keep the ball on the ground. And again, uh, Slippery Rock now calling those timeouts. If California just decides to run here, they're going to have to punt and give Slippery Rock great field position again. And that's just we don't, not what you want to do against the number one passing team in the PSAC. And that's right, Dylan. And they've just been awarded a few extra seconds here on the clock. 48 left here before the half. Three timeouts. That's a pretty deadly combination, if you ask me. One timeout. I have read the wrong <laughs> thing on the scoreboard here. That is a mistake by me. Yeah, they're looking at the third and ten with the one timeout left right above it for Slippery Rock. Michael Keir, he has two wide receivers on each side. He has Jalen Bell to his left, and he's going to go through the air. Rushed and gets this one away to Luke Smory. Smory makes his way up to about the 15-yard line before being brought down just short of the first down. And Slippery Rock's going to call a timeout now. 38 seconds left. Going to have great field position here. Not sure. I think we should have stayed in the air the whole time there. Try to get some momentum back in favor of our offense. If Slippery Rock goes down and scores here, it's going to be a big moment in this game to look back on. Yeah, and Slippery Rock, they're really going to have to rush this one. 38 seconds left from zero timeouts. California is about to punt it away. Yeah, and they went from a fictitious three created by me <laughs> to one, and now they have none. <laughs> and it was 38 seconds left in the first half, but now they moved it back up to 41 seconds, so giving them a few extra seconds to do something on offense. Michael Keir in the end zone, getting ready to punt this one away. Keir awaiting that snap, waiting for the referee's whistle. Keir's going to punt this one away. He's going to take a few seconds off the clock as he hesitated to punt that one. And this is going to take a California bounce right before falling out of bounds. Actually, they're going to call it out of bounds at the 40-yard line. There, a 45-yard line, excuse me. So I guess it hit out of bounds. But again, that, yeah, 45-yard line, 34 seconds left here for the Slip Rock team. This is a big... This is a big time in this ball game here for both teams. The Slip Rock's able to score here, go into the half with momentum. I think California's going to be looking back on the decision to try to just run out the half. And it'll be tough to do if you're Slippery Rock with 34 seconds left in the first half, trying to score no matter where you are on the field. That is difficult to do as they do make their way on the field. Tanner Gary is the last one on. He has two wide receivers. Two on each side, four wide receivers, two on each side. It's going to be Neely joining him in the backfield. He's going to go through the air. He drops back. He's going to be hit while he throws. He's going to be absolutely crunched by Malik the California Aikens. defense. Yeah, that was Malik Akins. What a huge hit there by Akins. Malik Akins there using the hit stick. Wow, sitting him down. And that will put fear in any quarterback's eyes. And when you see a big defender like him coming at you and even hitting you after that throw is gone. Yeah, I can assure you he's going to remember that hit. And that's going to make an impact on the rest of this game. Luckily, it's before halftime here for Gary because that, that's, a, that's the type of play that you'll remember. 
And as a quarterback, Dylan, those are hits that you remember. <laughs> I still remember all of them I took. Luke Rapchak there for California's defense. Put a number of those licks on me in high school. <laughs> Tanner Gary drops back to pass. Not hit on this one, but he's going to complete this one to number 13, Mike Merhot. Yeah, no timeouts. They're going to be rushing right back up. Uh, maybe try to get pull something quick against this California defense. And it's going to be 27 seconds left. And they're not playing, and they didn't run, they didn't start that clock, and Gary Dunn is letting the ref know this. And they're just going to give him a first down. I, I guess that's why. Okay. Yeah, that's, I don't know, that's giving Slippery Rock some time that they didn't, shouldn't have had. Oh, and Coach Dunn is heated for sure, and rightfully so here with this confusion before the half. And Slippery Rock's just going to spike this one away. A lot of confusion going on. Gary Dunn voicing his opinion to the man in the white hat right now. I don't agree with giving such a late call. They called the first down after Slipper Rock's waiting there. Uh, California coaches are expecting the clock to run. Now they just decide to call for it being a first down. So lots of confusion there. Uh, that favorite Slippy Rock. Tanner Gary trips to his right. One side car, a wide receiver to his left. He's going to drop back. He's going to go long. He's going to have Millie Ray open but he's just going to overthrow him and that's a big play for this California defense. Yeah just a little bit too much mustard there on that one Steve one of my favorite analogies in football <laughs> a little too much mustard on that dog. And again that's got to be some of the impact of just taking those hard hits I'm telling you it messes with your head a little bit and it just it takes it takes the the couple feet that he overthrew that ball there that that's that's part of the factoring in of the pass rush here by this California defense. That definitely has a huge impact on that. California already sacking the quarterback five times this game, almost six. Gary dropping back, pump fakes. He's going to let this one go. He's going to have a wide receiver. This is going to be intercepted for the second time in this game by number 20, Vondell Bell. What a huge play to, <laughs> to uh, run out this last few seconds of the second, second quarter. And what a way to defuse that dangerous situation there for California. And a flag as the defense for California is staying out on the field. There's a flag on Slippy Rock sideline. And that's going to be holding on California. And <laughs> just like that, your hopes are so high. And then Slippery Rock and the refs are right there to tear your heart out. And Gary didn't even look to that side of the field. There where they called the holding. It's on the opposite side of the field. He was a cornerback on Johnson over on the far side of, of your screen there. That's just, that's a huge break for Slipper Rock. Now they're in field position. Uh, his defense there, he thought you caught a break, and now uh, Slipper Rock's probably going to come out of here with points if they don't score here and stay in, if they go out of bounds. And, and uh, with nine seconds left, you got to get out of bounds or score a touchdown here if you're Slippery Rock. Slippery Rock, Tanner Gary has those trips to his right yet again. He's going to drop back. He's going to look down the field. He's going to go long to his left. This one's going to be way overthrown out of bounds, bringing up a second down with four seconds left. And I could have sworn I saw a little bit of holding there on the left side of that rock line, but apparently I'm mistaken. Yeah, I thought I saw holding as well there on the left side of the line. And we've had such a pass rush as California so far. Something to look out for as well is California's had a couple of blocked kicks here in this season. This might be an opportunity where they could use one. Chapla getting ready for his kick. Ten seconds to go on the play clock. Slippery Rock trying to get some points on the board. This one's up. And this one is going to be good. Slippery Rock getting some three points to end this second quarter to go into halftime. California still has that seven-point lead, 17-10 to 10 over the Rocks. Stick with us for some second-half action right here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Vulcan football is back. August 31st versus Ohio Dominican. September 9th versus Cheney. September 16th at Millersville. September 23rd versus Seton Hill. September 30th at Slippery Rock. October 14th versus Clarion. October 21st at Gannon. October 28th versus Mercyhurst. November 4th at Edinburgh. November 11th at East Stroudsburg. Catch all the action live with your home of the Vulcans. CUTV Sports 1 on YouTube and radio on 91.9 FM WCAL. 
Do you want information on the 2017 Vulcan football team? Look no further than the Gary Dunn Show. If I was really proud of our efforts, especially from our senior class that had been through a lot, and for those guys to walk out of here with the PSAC championship. Coach looks back on last week's game and looks ahead to the upcoming opponent. You know, we're really starting over and trying to build that foundation for the 2017 season. Don't miss Vulcan highlights, PSAC standings, schedules, and much, much more. Stadium in Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. Your California Vulcans have rock of Slippery Rock going into the second half. Colin, wow, what an amazing first half we saw from California and Slippery Rock. Yeah, California's defense has been the statement of the game here for this entire team. Really showing up to play here today in contrast to last weekend and really living up to their name as a high caliber defense. And let's take a look at California's offense. Michael Keir early on in the game was lighting it up and towards that end, I mean, they just kind of died down. Yeah, and for sure you would have to expect a little bit of a cool down for the California offense because they came out red hot, no pun intended. <laughs> And going into the second half, Slippery Rock kind of pulled away with a little bit of momentum, getting that last second field goal to make this score 17 to 10. California has a chance to receive this ball in the, the start of the second half. And Dylan, what do you think California has to do to get the momentum going in their way again? Well, I think this offense, excuse me, as I was finishing up, uh, putting on some more layers here, as it is pretty chilly here. But yeah, I think this offense needs to get back rolling. I thought right before halftime would be the chance to do it, but it was not. And uh, we have some stats here. As Danny, we didn't get the official press release stats as Danny sent me a picture, and I just forwarded it to my man Colin. So hopefully he receives that here soon, so we can get some. We'll give you the halftime statistics. Chapla getting ready to kick this one away to the Vulcans, and the second half is underway. Smory is gonna pick this one up. And he's going to go with it. He's going to find his way up to about the 25, say, 27-yard line to start the second half. Yeah, and this offense is going to come back out onto the field now and uh, see if Michael Keir, who had a hot start but has cooled down there since that second quarter of play. Michael Keir just has not been the same there. We saw them picking up a lot of third down yards early, but not here. So uh, see if California can uh, get them jolt back in their offense and uh, now the tempers have cooled down see if they can heat back up here oh man you're just uh all over the place with these puns michael Keir has two wide receivers to his right he has a sidecar to his right as well one lone wide receiver to his left five on the play clock he gets this one away he's gonna go to tom green the name we haven't called much tom green breaks that tackle tom green makes his way up to the first down and he's finally dragged down at about the 37 yard line and when california wants to do their run pass option there they put luke smory and tom green at the same side of the field so what they do is they run an outside zone to the opposite way there to Jimmy Wheeler, and then Michael Kier keeps his eyes downfield. If either the corner or the linebacker leave their man, Michael Kier will pull that and hit either one, and that's exactly what he did there to Tom Green. Michael Kier, high football IQ with trip to, trips to his left. He's going to hand this one off to Wheeler. Wheeler has some room to his left. Wheeler is brought down about one with a loss about one. Yeah, and we're looking at some statistics now. Michael Kier was 6-12 of 12 for 135 there in the first quarter. And since then there, he's only had four, four more yards passing there. Jimmy Wheeler actually didn't get a gain or a loss of anything on that last run. Second and 10, 13-56 and running. California trying to figure out their offense with 15 seconds left to go on the play clock. I say get back at get the ball back to Smory here would be a wise decision at 36 yards receiving there in that first half. Smory to Kier's right. Kier's going to be pressured. Kier's going to be brought down, but there is going to be a flag thrown. In the area of holding, uh, it doesn't look, look good here for California. A sack and a holding call, and that's exactly what it's going to be. California not getting off to the start that they wanted in the second half, Colin. And you don't want to come out in the second half cold like the weather is here for sure. It honestly didn't look like <laughs> there was no blocking there coming from either right. side there. It looked like it was a screen play, but nobody was down ready for a screen, so that was just a blown 
um, coverage there by the line for California. Michael Keir has trips to his right. We've seen the third down magic, and third down magic is in need for this third and 27 play. 10 seconds to get this snap off. Keir drops back. That pocket's collapsing. He's going to get this one away. He's going to have Tom Green, and Tom Green unable to get that one. That ball is going to be underthrown, and that's going to fall incomplete. He tried to throw back shoulder, but nice coverage downfield. Uh, and Tom Green just couldn't get in front of his uh, defender there and get that catch. But again, no momentum for this offense right now. They're just uh, kind of tr a truck stuck in the mud here, just turning their tires right now, not getting any progress. And we may have a chance to see this defense get a big, strong uh, hold against this Slippery Rock offense to set up and er, to kind of make up for California's offense like we saw in the past. California, they're going to get this punt away. That's Michael Keir. He's going to be punting away to Marcus Johnson. Johnson immediately taken down. I'm surprised he didn't lose handle of that ball. Great tackling display there by the special teams unit to pull him down because he had a huge... A little bit of a lane there going up the sideline. He probably could have took off. Yeah, that was Nigel Garnett flying down there for California. Him and Luke Rapcheck uh, collect that tackle there. But again, momentum in favor of the Rock here. So California's defense that we've seen save them pretty much all season. Well, last season in situations like this, the defense will step up and make big plays. Uh, this year, the offense has really been that, that catalyst. But here today, the defense has stepped up uh, when, the, when the offense has struggled. Tanner Gary trips to his left. He's going to go to Millie Ray. Millie Ray finds space on the left side. He's going to be brought down just shy of that first down marker. It's going to be a second in about three. And perhaps right there, Gary could have been feeling a little bit of pressure as we saw one of the Vulcan defenders almost getting a hand on that pass and tipping it towards the ground. That's all I see this offense doing right now is those short screens. That's all they've had success doing. If you're California... Maybe that's a way that they're trying to get California to dial back that pass rush and the blitzing there. Maybe they're going to have to get away from that. It's going to actually be a second and one. It's going to go to Millie Ray again. Millie Ray moves his way around the California defense, gets that first down and a few yards more. Again, there's just no answer right now for that screen play. They're, going to, they're just avoiding the run and sticking, uh, using that screen play as a run threat. Basically the same thing there. It's a quick low... Uh, low um, difficulty there with the screen plays and low chance of anything bad happening. So see if they continue that. They got trips to this side. I would expect nothing less as the numbers advantages favor them here for screen play to this near side of the field. Gary drops back. He's going to go long, and just like that, he's going to throw it way out of bounds on the Slippery Rock sideline. That pressure was coming from California's defense. The pressure was coming indeed there, Steve, and they've been doing a good job of this all game long a very refreshing thing to see and Dylan you you were touching on this uh, <laughs> Gary not having luck going long he's gonna stick to those screen passes yeah I believe so there I don't know why they didn't go to the screen they try to mix it up I understand they're trying to do that but I go back to that screen game it's just if it's not broke don't fix it and Tanner Gary shovel pass over to the running back he's gonna be taken down by Luke Rapcheck Luke Luke Rapcheck just showing him, showing the uh, running back who's boss. And once again, another flip of the wrist there to send that ball. Just a dangerous play. I don't know. For me, I just find that to be very difficult to be able to maintain ball security when you're doing things yeah, like especially that. Especially the option. That's Again, you can't run up the middle against the defense. That's what they're doing there. The, the strength of this offense right now is the screen plays, screen plays, especially to Millie Ray, and getting outside and with the quarterback run where you have the option where if the quarterback gets pressured, he can flip it, flick it right off to his man. It's going to be about third and six. The running game right up the middle, and it's going to be stuffed. But be right at the first down marker. Right at the first down marker. We'll see if they're going to call this one a first down. And they are. Good spot there. And The Rock is chugging along here to open up this second half. We expect this offense to get back on track at some point, and adjustments were made, and it is showing. Yeah, and with 11 minutes and 10 seconds to go in this second quarter, we'll see if California defense can make a stand. The home dogs ready to get this snap off. 
And they're going to get that. They're going to try that option. And Tanner Gary is going to be brought down. He's going to be brought down hard in the backfield. Corey Bopp has been making big hits all game long on the quarterback there in Gary. And when you get hit like that, there's no chance of pitching that ball. That would have been a dangerous pitch there. But Corey Bopp laying the wood right there. Yeah, and Tanner Gary found himself in between a rock and a hard place on that one. Between a rock and a bop right there. <laughs> the rock's getting bopped. <laughs> Man, we're, we're lightning today. We're lightning. <laughs> Tanner Gary in the shotgun formation. Two to his left. One to his right. He's going to drop back. He's going to be pressured. He's going to fire this one in to number 81 for Slippery Rock, and he's going to be leveled out of bounds before getting to about the 15-yard line. And that's Andrew Bridgeforth there pulling in that reception. First time we've brought his name up so far in this game. Devontae Super was there in coverage and just unable to get his hand out and deflect that ball. Again, uh, Slippery Rock now chugging along like Colin said. Tanner Gary goes with that option. He's going to find his running back. Barry, he's going to make his way all the way to the five-yard line. All momentum is in favor of the Rock right here. We're going to need a big defensive play, and the offense is going to have to take a shot downfield to try to get some momentum back. Uh, here it's just... Really, they're getting lackadaisical here as this California team. They had momentum on their side, and they're just letting it slip right through their fingers. It seems like Slippery Rock is finally finding a way past this California defense. First and goal for the Rock. Tanner Gary gets the snap. He's going to hand it off, and the running back is going to be stuffed at the five-yard line with no gain on that play. And the rock is coming alive here as the sun sets and the lights come on. It is bringing out a monster in this team. That sun goes away. The rock comes out to play. That was Dantes Rash on the run. Number 27. Chisar Barry stepping in. The youngster there has been getting the bulk of these carries here for a slippery rock. Tanner Gary, he's going to drop back. They're going to go to look in the air. And this one is going to be rifled to number 81, Andrew Bridgeforth for a slippery rock touchdown. And pending the field goal, this one may be tied. And Vondell Bell just got flat out beat in coverage there. Just a simple push route. California had man-to-man -man coverage, and he just beat Vondell Bell there. Usually one of the better defenders, one of the better defensive backs who actually picked up interception earlier on this game. But now 17 unanswered, uh, 16, excuse me, pending this extra point, unanswered points for Slippery Rock. Slippery Rock with the extra point. It's up and it's going to be good. And just like that, can you smell what the Rock is cooking? They tie it up to 17. We have more third quarter action right after this break here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Since 1937, the Student Association Incorporated, known as SAI, has served the Cal U student body by providing activities, programs, and services. Every enrolled student has the ability to take part in over 125 different clubs and organizations. Managing participation in every SAI activity is easy with OrgSync, a powerful tool for staying connected. Located one mile from campus, the SAI farm has 94 acres of meeting and recreational space. SAI, it's your student association. And welcome back to beautiful Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. If you missed it, The Rock tied this one up at 17. Dylan, what did you see out of the California defense on that one? Well, they made a couple good stands, and Slippery Rock's just playing for the weakness, playing at the weaknesses of this California defense and taking advantage of them. They've gotten away from their bread and butter, passing the ball down the field and keeping with short stuff. That's driving the ball against this California defense. The, oh, kick, yeah, defense. the kick is away for Luke Smory. Luke Smory flying. He has some speed. He gets past the kicker. Has only one man to beat. He's going to be brought down past the 45. And it looks like he fumbled that ball. We'll see who picked this one up. They're going to call California ball. And huge man, that's a huge sigh of relief. You can hear it from me and the whole stands here by California. That was a huge sigh of relief for California. Finally some momentum. The, we've been talking about the change of pace 
the field position battle. California hasn't been in slippery rock territory since I believe the first quarter of play. So now they're three yards, uh, two yards away from that. This is a huge break. Nice return there by Luke Smore. He got lucky that, he, that California recovered that ball. But there, that's that, that's kind of the, you hear the band now trying to get some momentum now, playing our favorite song now. Yeah, and just like that, Colin, that momentum is it in California's favor now. That's right. That huge return puts everybody, this team, the band, the crowd, right back in this one in play for the Vulcans. That's a play they needed there. The offense needs a jolt, and I think getting good field position could be that jolt they needed. Yeah, and give us some more, Mr. Smorey. Let's see another big play. Michael Keir ready to get this snap going. Ten seconds left on the play clock. Too high safety. Wouldn't be surprised to see a run play here. And he fakes the run. Looking for a wide receiver. He has Tom Green. Tom Green, one man to beat. He's at the 15. He's at the 10. Five. He's brought down around the three-yard line. A big game there from Tom Green. And I've been kind of waiting for California to do that. They've been settling for running when you see too high safety. But there they go with the play action pass. And I've number, noticed that the corner, the safety has been up close to the line of scrimmage, only 10 yards downfield. And there, Michael Keir beats the safety across the middle with a beautiful post pattern there by Luke Smorey. I mean, excuse me, Tom Green. Big plays, big gains. What can we say? Dylan broke it down for me. I'm just the <laughs> hype man on this one. <laughs> California definitely has that momentum right back in their hands. And what a huge swing. <laughs> You're looking, if you yep. look at a heart rate meter here for California sideline, goes down all the way back up in just a split second. Here's going to hand this one off to Jalen Bell. Jalen Bell gets in there for a California touchdown. Just like that, Jack, California's on top. And Jalen Bell is feeling himself here today, and rightfully so, charging into the end zone and putting Cal right back on top. Yeah, just uh, it's unbelievable how fast momentum can change. That's all this game is about, is getting momentum. When you get a play like the kickoff return there, it's a perfect opportunity for the offense to take a shot. And that's exactly what Michael Keir and Ch Coach Sal Coach Salisbury did at the offensive coordinator there, taking a shot. And a great call there by Keir and Salisbury. Brazil with the extra point. The extra point is good. California takes back that seven-point lead over the rock of Slippery Rock. Stick with us for some more intense third-quarter action right here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Dylan, what's wrong, man? I still know how my family back home in Buchanan, West Virginia, can watch our stuff up here. They can follow us on Twitter or they can like us on Facebook. That's awesome. What about our sports? How can they watch that? They could watch it live right on our YouTube channel. Awesome, man. Thanks. You're welcome. For the first time in 31 years, live high school football all season long on CUTV Sports 1. And welcome back to the Vulcans football game against Slippery Rock. California taking that seven-point lead yet again, 24-7. to seven. And Dylan, that momentum swing was something serious. Yeah, it was some serious momentum swing, but uh, not a good sight on the sideline for California as Tom Green is getting attended to by the training staff. I already have one starting receiver down there in Jordan Dandridge, and we may lose another one here with Tom Green. You hope he's okay, though as they're looking at that left knee there on Tom Green. Don't want to speculate things. William Brazil, the kick is away to get this one going again. And this one's going to go out of bounds, and the flag is going to be thrown just like that. California kicking that one out of bounds for a flag. We talked about the special teams earlier for California. You cannot make mistakes, and that's the pride, really, of this team. They, that's really a strength of this team and has been for a number of years is the special teams. And there they just made a mistake, a mental error there by William Brazil, which we don't usually see mistakes from. Definitely not. And Collins discipline is something that Coach Dunn really implemented with this team early on last season. And it's always good to see a well-coached and well-disciplined team. That's a great recipe for success, as we've seen in yep. his tenure so far. Yep, in his one season tenured, and even early on in this season, hanging with the best, being the best, anything you can. Gary Dunn has it all. Slipper Rock's going to ask to get this re-kicked. Interesting call there. Maybe they're looking for a jolt there 
from their kickoff, just like we saw from California. Right. Uh, but that's interesting there. You could have got great field position off of that penalty, but they're going to elect to receive this one now. So California can redeem themselves here. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Will Brazil put the big old boot on this one. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. William Brazil, we do know that old iron leg has some power when he kicks those <clears throat> when he kicks those balls. He can easily get that one end of the end zone and, and uh, get that uh, that kickoff rush going. We'll see what he does now. The band hyping everything up, doing a fantastic job coming all the way out to Slippery Rock to help motivate the Vulcans. This one is re-kick, a short kick to about the 15-yard line. The Slippery Rock making their way down the field to about the 36-yard line. So Slippery Rock loses there on that decision. They lose about... Uh, five yards there on their decision that they could have had great field position, better field position, still pretty good field position here at the ball around the 30 yard line. So, uh, big law. Uh, tough when you caught a break there, I think, uh, with the decision by Slippery Rock to elect to move the kick back five yards instead of taking the, uh, the penalty. Now, Colin, how does California's defense continue this momentum for this offense? That's easy. You just have to feed off the energy that this venue is providing for them. They've done a great job of that so far in this game. They just need to keep up with what they're doing. I think they need to get back to some screen games here and continue that, that momentum they had with the screens. Tanner Gary drops back, pump fakes. He's knocked off his feet. He's going to run this one himself. He's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. Looks like he's shaken up, and there's going to be a late flag thrown. We're going to call a late hit, and that was very late of a call. But once again, keeping player safety in mind is always a good thing, and the referees are doing just that. He did take a knee to the head there a little bit, from what I saw. He's shaken up, though, Gary. Yep. Uh, he's taking some licks here today. Yeah, he is. In whether he's being sacked or just getting that throw off, he's been on the ground more than, uh, more than usual. In this but game. That penalty really gives them good field position now where now they don't have to take the shots downfield. They can get back to what's been working for them those short games. Needless to say, he is not enjoying his stay at the Hotel California. <laughs> oh man, lightning. Lightning. We're in an electric factory up here. Slippery Rock making their way down the field. That screen again to Millie Ray. Millie Ray, a nice spin move, almost got a highlight reel play there but finally being brought down just before the 30 yard line it's just wide open so I, I continue to run it there they're getting 10 yards uh, 10 15 20 yards a pop there when they de decide to run the screen plays and Millie Ray has some explosiveness off that line so I'm sure they're going to be loving that Tanner Gary goes short again. A little check down play to yeah, the running back, and there's going to be a flag call. Yeah, that's, saw that you one can't coming. do that block anymore, the, cut, the cracked back block there. As the play's passed, you can't. They just can't. No matter how far back as the play's passed, you can't deliver a hit there. And a nice call by the back judge. I hope they don't change his mind here because that, that's a good call, I believe. I agree, and it's something, Dylan, we saw last night as well at our high school game, and we talked about that rule. Yeah, definitely. He had a best vantage point, so I hope they don't wave this flag off. And I think everyone saw that. That would have been a big momentum boost, but the flag is going to be waved off. This puts Slippery Rock in some fantastic So you just get a, You just get a player safety call on, uh, on California, and now they're trying to get one back for Slippery Rock, and this is no call. So I, that's frustrating. Yeah, that you is have very to. frustrating. Sorry to interrupt you there, right. Steve, but frustrating stuff. Yeah, you know, you, if you're the ref, you got to keep it consistent because I liked the call. He had a, he had the best vantage point at, at the play there from the, the his angle that he was at. I just don't understand that one. Yeah, you know, and Tanner Gary is going to pitch this one out. Running back is going to go wide. He's going to be brought down out of bounds, and this game's going to be getting a little scrappy. But just Ball to go. Was loose there. Ball was loose and Rolled might have made its way out of bounds. But I did, I liked that call, that late hit on Tanner Gary, keeping that safety going, but you have to keep that consistency, uh, as we saw there. But Slippery Rock just making their way into some decent field position. Yeah, they are working their way right downfield with the short passing game, and uh, the outside run has worked uh, here recently for the Slippery Rock offense. Tanner Gary 
Looking to make his way down the field. He hands this one off. Number 21 finds a hole into the end zone. And just like that, the Rock are back on the board. And Good. Pistol Pete, lock and load your guns because we seem to have a shootout on our hands here in this second half. That one was Dantes Rash, the speedy running back for Slippery Rock. Pending the field goal, the Rock have a chance to tie this one up yet again. Yeah, just keeping with what's working for him there at the outside run. Uh, surprised that he's able to find that big of a hole against his defense, but just uh, Slippery Rock offense is rolling now. Chapla, and this one's gonna be blocked by California. It's gonna be picked up, no, the ball is still loose. It's gonna be picked up by number three, Brendan Edwards, and like I said, pending the extra point, this one was gonna be tied, and just like that, California, known for blocking extra points, this one's gonna be 24 to 23. Dylan, what a, what a play there. Yeah, what a play is right. I believe we're going to stay here, I believe. And that was just a nice play. We mentioned that earlier when a, a chance for California to get a block kick, and that's exactly what they did there. We, they've been known for that for a number of years. I think six block kicks just last season. And hello there. Their special teams making yep. their statement in the game. Their trademark at least one statement a game. There it is. Yep. And, and that's what it is. Gary Dunn it implements such a team team effort in this ball game. Uh, whether the defense is struggling, the offense is there to pick them up. If the offense is struggling, the special teams is there to pick them up. It's a team effort, and Gary Dunn does a great job of implementing that. Yeah, extra points aren't like field goal. Uh, excuse me, extra points aren't like free throws in basketball. It's not three points that you have the opportunity. The defense has an opportunity to block it, and California there gets a huge play because now Tight ball game, 23-24, 6.36 left to go. Uh, that's a huge break in favor of the Balkans now. They have a little bit of leeway now with some things they can do. They definitely have some things to work with. 6.36 left in the third quarter. Slippery Rock getting ready to kick this one off, and it is away into the arms of Luke Smory. Luke Smory had a huge return, and we'll see if he can do it again. He can't down around the 20-yard line. And guys, as you touched on earlier, Steve, the mentality of a team, that's a very strong bond. I'm sure we've all, we've all had experiences with a team back in our days of sports. It's a huge bond to have, and having a bunch of people there that are really there to pick you up when you're feeling right. down is a great boost for anyone. Right, and what we're seeing is this defense struggling, and, and the team is there to pick them up. I mean, it, this game isn't over. There's 631 left in the third quarter, and then we still have a whole fourth quarter to go. So California, they have a lot of room for improvement, and we'll see how they move along in this game. They have their chance on offense now. Michael Keir readying his troops. He has one sidecar to his left, four wide receivers. He's going to get the snap. He's going to go over to Jalen Bell. Jalen Bell, he's going to, this ball is going to be knocked loose. It's going to be picked up by Slippery Rock, number 44 for Slippery Rock, Marcus Martin. Who else but Marcus Martin picks yeah, that one up? That's a huge play and a huge momentum shift again after California gets that block extra point and now California trying to do something that's worked for Slippy Rock is short passing game so I think the strength of this game has been the downfield throws there Mike here but they go short there to uh, running back there and Jalen Bell who just picked up that touchdown last time and now momentum right back it's been a flip-flop in momentum here as momentum back now in the favor of Slippy Rock. Yeah to describe this game it's like we're in a rocking chair right now with momentum we're going back and forth and back and forth it's unreal Crazy yeah, game. I, I agree. It is a back and forth game that momentum is swinging like a pendulum right now. It's in Slippery Rock's hands. It's in California's hands. And then, like we saw, it's out of California's hands. No pun intended with that ball slipping out of Jalen Bell's grasp. Big chance Five. for a turnover here. Big, 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 huge time for a turnover for California. And this one's going to be taken on the ground. That's going to be number 25 for Slippery Rock, Isaiah Neely. And we've got a shaken up Vulcan here. You never want to see anything like this. Just waiting to see who that is that's shaken up. I hope that's not right. Uh, might be Bop, maybe? I think this is one. I think it's Corey Bop. And that's going to be a huge loss for the California defense. Already riddled with injuries coming into this game. And definitely lots of injuries here for California's team in general. 
especially on that defense. He's going to hop right back up. You hope it's just a stinger or something along those lines for Bopp as he's made some huge hits, like we've mentioned here in this ballgame. Yeah, Corey Bopp, uh, a, a name that we don't call much, but, I mean, he makes his presence known almost every single game. That's right, Steve. And when we do call it, it's always something very impactful in a game. Corey Bob, I believe he has a sack on this game. Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys are giving me the nod. I have the A-OK. -okay. Slippery Rock, another chance on offense. Four wide receivers. Tanner Gary, he's going to hand this one up. Hand this one off again right down the middle. California's defense is there to stop him in his tracks. No gain on the play. Yeah. And that front line slams the door shut there, getting closer and closer to the goal line. Yeah, the defensive line, again, the strength of this California team. As we just got some hot chocolate. Special Percy delivery. Sarah St. <laughs> Jock coming up big uh, there with the hot chocolate delivery. Slippery Rock back in action. Two wide receivers to the left, one side car for Tanner Gary. This one's going to be handed off again. And is he going to be denied of the touchdown? It looks like he is, but he's going to fight his way into the end zone. This one's going to be called a touchdown. The rug yet again on top of the California Vulcans. Let's see what they decide to do now after picking up that touchdown. Nice effort again, though, by Slippery Rock to get into the end zone there. See if they, yeah, they are going to stay out on the field and go for two here. Here's another big play in this ball game. Right now it's 29 to 24. This extra point will give, uh, this two point conversion could give them a lead uh, of back up to seven. Just like that, there's no rest for the wicked in the PSAC West. Slippery Rock back on top. This clock is ticking for them. The play clock, that is, it's down to 15 seconds and they seem pretty unorganized right now. They definitely are. I think they're gonna try to maybe just run up and get a quick snap here. I believe Five that's what they are going to go in to do. They're going to call a timeout now. So, time actually, out timeout out California. I, in a do, play I like don't that. get. I don't get that timeout there. I guess they weren't numbers wise matched up well, but the clock was about to run out. I, yep, three I'm, seconds was left on that play clock. Slippery Rock still trying to get into their offensive formation, and California calls the timeout. Yeah, that's a huge. You're going to need that timeout here, and. That's a frustrating call there. I guess the defense was just unorganized, and that's just you cannot have that here in such a big game, big moment of this game. As both teams discussing what the next plan is, the Rock right now have a five-point lead with 522 left to go in this third quarter. California, where this all started, Dylan, California gave up that fumble early on uh, their last drive. Yeah, that is that fumble there on the swing route catch there by Jalen Bell. Fumbled the ball, gave it back to Slippery Rock, and who else recovered it other than the stud Marcus Martin defensive end there in Marcus Martin, and he is just, again, one of the best players, maybe it's safe to say one of the best players in PSAC, PSAC history, let alone the whole nation's history, right. as he is the leading uh, pass rusher in, his, in terms of sacks and tackles for a loss in Division II football history. Yeah, just like you said, every... Every tackle is a record-breaking tackle. Slippery Rock making their way back out onto the field. Would not be surprised to see him play on the next level and play at a good, high level at the right. next level. Trips to Tanner Gary's right. One side Cordo is left, another wide receiver to his left as well. We'll see if they're gonna stay on the ground or go in the air. They're gonna go in the air. Tanner Gary has some time. He's going to find his receiver in the end zone for a two-point conversion. But we've got a but flag. we have a flag. Colin, what did you see on that play that deserved a flag? To be honest, Steve, oh, I was right. I thought I saw a hold, and there it is. So we'll see what The Rock comes up with here as they head back to the drawing board. Man, is this like a chess match or what? Yeah. These penalties... Uh, in terms of momentum, we're seeing all aspects of the game here. Special team making plays, fumble, turnovers, now holding calls, making big plays. Uh, this is just, this is great stuff right here. Yeah, I agree. And this, as a broadcaster, these, this is a game that you love your job, but you also hate it. The back and forth madness as the kicking team is going to come out onto the field. Chapla, his kick, his extra point was blocked last time as the fans are cheering to block it for the California defense. We'll see what happens here, Chapla. 
The extra point is up, and that extra point is good after a long wait for just one point. The Rock take a six-point lead. It's 30 to 24. Stick with us for more third quarter action in this close game on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Dylan, what's wrong, man? I just don't know how my family back home in Buchanan, West Virginia can watch our stuff up here. They can follow us on Twitter or they can like us on Facebook. That's awesome. What about our sports? How can they watch that? They could watch it live right on our YouTube channel. Awesome, man. Thanks. You're welcome. For the first time in 31 years, live high school football all season long on CUTV Sports 1. And welcome back to CUTV for the California Vulcans versus the Rock of Slippery Rock. And before the break, you just saw Slippery Rock take the lead 30 to 24, calling this California defense broke down it was a tough because slippery was slippery rock was in such good form eight field position yeah field position is definitely a big key and a big part of this and slippery rock has been the beneficiaries of a lot of good field position in this game and the kick is away to get california back into this one jimmy wheeler's this gonna return this one Jimmy Wheeler, a man who we know who has speed. He's going to be brought down at around the 15-yard line. He's Again, gonna... thrown down and hit late, but uh, player safety is just for the home team here, I guess. So uh, we'll continue on in this one. As, again, he took a huge hit. He yep. stayed up on his feet. Uh, very impressed by that one. Yeah, Jimmy Wheeler, a man who has speed. If he could get some open field ahead of him. And uh, now that we have time, we did say that we got a special hot chocolate delivery. We just want to give a huge shout out and a big thank you to Sarah, Sarah and Allison for getting us uh, this warm treat. Definitely a signal of fall being in full <laughs> swing here. Hot chocolate at a first, football game. First hot chocolate of the season for me, so. Yeah. Michael Keir has trips to the left. He's going to go to Smory. Smory making his way down the field. He's going to pick up the first down. He's going to pick up more. He goes down at around the 30-yard line. Yeah, I think California needs to pick up their momentum here and pick up the fast pace of play. They're going to kind of slow it down here, but this is where we saw last year. California go bang, 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 and next thing you know, five plays in less than a minute, they're in the end zone. We're not seeing that here, kind of slowing it down and uh, methodically working their way down the field. And that's all it is. It seems like this whole game has been strategic. Michael Keir, four, wi four wide receivers out with him. Two on his left, two on his right. One side card to his left. 4.50 to go in this third quarter. He's going to hand this one off to Jimmy Wheeler. Jimmy Wheeler makes his way down the field, picking up around three yards on that run. And it's nice to see Jimmy Wheeler being incorporated in this offense more and more as the season moves on. And I'll tell you what, Jimmy Wheeler, if he could... If he could find his game, he's one shifty running back. If he just needs a crease, that's all he needs to hit it, and he'll be gone. I was kind of surprised there on the kickoff return. He actually got caught yeah. and ran down from behind. I've, I don't think I've ever seen that happen there with Jimmy Wheeler. Keir setting up in his same formation as we've seen pretty much all this game. Keir gets the snap. He's going to be rushed. He's going to check down to Jimmy Wheeler. Jimmy Wheeler, he has some space. He's almost going to pick up the first down, just about a yard shy, breaking up the third down. And once again, there's Jimmy. I'll give him a nickname, Wheels. Very That's creative. Good, very Jimmy creative. Wheels Wheeler <laughs> almost picking up that first down there. Applaud the play call as well. We've seen some pressure now coming from Slippery Rock, and the California hits him with the screen behind it. He just needed to break one more, get one more block there by the lineman downfield, and I think he would have had a huge yep. gain there. Now this is a much more manageable third down and short. I, let's settle on Jimmy Wheels, just shorten it to that. Michael Keir has a man to his left and a man to his right, trying to catch Slippery Rock. Jump, five seconds left to go in the play. This one's going to be handed off to Jimmy Wheeler. Jimmy Wheeler has space. He has one man to beat. He's making his way down the field. He's going to be pulled out of bounds around the 40-yard line just like that. 
Mr. Wheeler makes his way down the field. Yeah, right on cue. You talk about him making big plays, and all he needs is a crease. He had the angle on the outside there. Wonderful blocking by one else. The left side of this line has been so critical of them, but they make huge blocks there, and Jimmy Wheeler picks up a huge first down, and now ball in Slippery Rock territory. That's exactly what California was asking for, that running back in Jimmy Wheeler. Again, trying to catch Slippery Rock off guard, trying to get them to jump. Unsuccessful, and they'll change up the play. Luke Smorey, Tom Green, the wide receivers to Michael Kier's right, faking the handoff. They're going to look for T Luke Smorey at around the 30-yard line. That one's a little low and out of Smorey's reach. Yep, just as you said, a little bit low. Still a good effort by Smorey there to try to get down the level to that one and pull it in. Talking about running back depth, there's no side of of uh, Jalen Bell on the sideline now. So now it's just Jimmy Wheeler, and we'll see a new face after him. I'm not sure who's DeAngelo listed. Mitchell. Yeah, he will be listed as the guy behind uh, Wheeler there. So now we talked about the depth of this running back position. It's going to be tested now as they're down to their third string running back there in Wheeler. Wheeler, the side Carter Kier's right. The wide receiver to Kier's right and left. There's not much fall off, though, between those three. Those two, nope. two three are high level for sure. And there's going to be a timeout called. I'm not sure who called this one. I think we did. Yeah, California did get called with the timeout. Um, so down the one timeout now before this fourth quarter starts. Again, using that timeout on the two-point conversion could pay out huge now for California. And as you see on your screen there, a links, multiple links for our social media pages. You're watching quite possibly right now on CUTV Sports 1. Hopefully. Solid place to catch some Vulcan athletics. And we also have news on our YouTube page, CUTV News Center. We sometimes post it on CUTV Sports 1, sometimes we post it on News Center. Keep an eye out for that. And then your standby, Facebook, California University Television. Stay tuned for Steve and company's fantastic Facebook Live videos. Twitter, at CUTV underscore PA. Dylan and company with fantastic pregame stuff always for you, locked down. You can get your sports info from calvulcans.com. Thank you, Colin. That was fantastic. Follow us on all of our social media platforms. Michael Keir has a sidecar to his left. One wide receiver to his right and another to his left as well. He's going to get the snap off, faking the handoff. He has Smorey down the field. He has Tom Green as well. He's going to have a receiver in front of him. That flag is going to be called at around the five-yard line, and that one's going to be defensive pass interference. And some great acting there by Tom Green there. <laughs> kind of fell back there, could win himself an award by that acting there. We saw it a couple times earlier. He tried to come back to catch the ball, and they didn't know flag. That time he's like, I'm drawing this flag. I'm falling right <laughs> down on my back. Uh, great job there by Tom Green. And that is gamesmanship, to say the least, from Tom Green. You do anything to get that call, and he did. And that is huge for California. Not really enough on that Michael Keir pass, but luckily that flag was called. Trips to Michael Keir's right. California inching their way back to the end zone. Michael Keir finalizing his play. 15 seconds left on the play clock. 2.35 left in the third quarter. Michael Keir gets off the snap. He's going to be pressured. He's going to throw this one wide out of bounds. That almost looked dangerous for Keir. Yeah, dangerous rush there by Slippery Rock. Almost caused some havoc there for Keir. But a good job of getting that ball out, regardless if he saw him, that rusher or not. Yeah, and that's that blind side, and that's that... That's that young left side of the offensive line that... Uh, that and the young left tackle is right. a true freshman there on the left side of this offensive line. Trips yet again to Michael Kier's right. Faking the handoff. It's going to be a play-action play to Luke Samori. Luke Samori is going to pick up about four yards on this play being brought down, give him five yards being brought down at the 30-yard line. And there's grit displayed there by Smory as he catches that one and lowers the shoulder and the head and pushes forward to gain a few extra yards. And another big third down here. We saw Michael Keir started out hot here. Yep. Let's see if the senior leader, the big-time playmaker for this Vulcans offense can get back into a rhythm 
and show why he's a leader of this team and one of the leaders in the conference. Luke Smory picking up those yards after contact. You can't spell integrity without grit. Trips to Michael Kier's left. Kier goes through the air. He has a man. That one's going to be almost picked off. It's going to fall incomplete at the last second. A slippery rock defender came and broke up that pass. He saw it late, did Kier there. Looks more he broke open there early, and uh, Kier just hit that one late, and that was a, such a dangerous throw there. Late across the middle is trouble with the safeties flying in there. Uh, Kier caught a break there. I think Coach Dozen will tell him you're just a couple seconds too late. Uh, he had, his, had him open early, but... Uh, a big break there by Slippery Rock. The Kier didn't see that early. Nice play. Uh, good defense there by Luke Smory as well, kind of batting that down and not allowing them to pick it off. And as you could guess, William Brazil, old iron leg coming out to try to get the three points for the Vulcans. The kick is up, and this kick is up right through the uprights, and it's going to be good. He's all reliable, that William Brazil. California only trailed by three now. Slippery Rock 30, California 27. Stay tuned for more third quarter action right here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Save preset one for Cal U's best music. More music in the car. More music in the door. More music everywhere. This is, this is 91.9 WCAL Power 92. Of the Vulcan Nation playing Cal U's best music 91.9 WCAL Power 92. And welcome back to Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. As you see on your screen, these three very fine gentlemen, well, two very fine gentlemen and myself. Oh, <laughs> totally We're all I thought you were about to take a rib at me there. <laughs> so, I, mean, I, wasn't the, I wasn't the fine man there. Uh, and good camera job there by rookie Devin getting <laughs> rookie a spotlight Devin. on us. And you saw the hot chocolate in our hands. This one's going to be kicked off to Slippery Rock, and he's going to be brought down hard at 30-yard line. Again, another huge shout out for the hot chocolate, man. I'm a big hot chocolate fan, so uh, I'll take that any time I can. And I just think of hot chocolate. You just think of football, and now we're under the lights here. <laughs> this is just uh, this is great stuff. I'm feeling a little energy here. Yeah. But it's a great ball game, 30-27. See if this defense now can make some plays. Uh, I expect Slippy Rock, no other than the short passing game. Screen plays, I expect at least two. I'm going to go out on a limb and say over under two screen plays to Millie Ray here. Uh, see if he can make some plays. Well, they need to make their way past that 50-yard line before they can really start messing around with those screen plays. This is where California needs to stop them early. Tanner Gary drops back. He has a receiver open, and this one's just going to be thrown out of bounds. He had number 81 wide open, Andrew Bridgeforth, but this one's thrown out of bounds. And Luke Rapchak saying, send me on the blitz more. It's kind of... Telling the Coach Craig there on the sideline, I want to blitz more. I tell you, I got hit probably about 12 to 15 times in just one game there by Luke Rapchak. <laughs> I played against him in high school. Uh, I tell you, one of the toughest hitters ever. And now he's one of the best defenders that we've had in a, quite some time here. He led the Vulcans in tackles last season. Would have led them the year before, but he got injured. Uh, just a huge wrecking force on this defense. Yeah, a beast. He has speed and, s speed and toughness. And that just brings so much to this defense. Slippery Rock, get this one off. Tanner Gary goes to the screen. The wide receiver is going to be taken down at about the 36-yard line with a gain of about five. And, guys, going back onto the pressure that we talked about early with Rapjack, that's really how they've been finding success in shutting down this Slippery Rock offense, forcing them to make mistakes and cashing in. And not allowing them to throw the ball deep down the field. When you see Millie Ray's highlights on SportsCenter, they're deep passes down the field. They just don't have time for that here today, tonight. No, they don't. That California defense is really chugging at them, getting past that offensive line. Tanner Gary has four, wide four options out there in the wide receiver position. One sidecar, he's going to drop back. He's going to be rushed. This one's going to be caught by number 87, Dylan Stapleton. The tight end, 
He's going to pick up the first down and a few yards more. And Dylan Stapleton, as you can see there, real classic tight end build. Tall, lengthy guy pulling in a nice grab there. Kind of like our Dylan Stallings yep. here on California's team. Both similar guys in name and size. And this one's going to go to Stapleton yet again. He's going to be brought down about at around the 50. This is going to be a five-yard gain. And here we go. Once again, Slippery Rock is keeping the tempo up and moving here in this third quarter. That's about to come to a close with 15 seconds left. Yeah, I expect and, them to probably let this clock yeah. run out here. And it looks like they will let this clock run out. You see in fours across the board, both teams holding up the four fingers here for this fourth, da fourth quarter. Uh, you're in store for a magnificent fourth quarter here and you said it yourself dylan stick around for a magnificent fourth quarter the rock leads california 30 to 27 so stay tuned right here on cu tv and cu tv sports one since 1937 the student association incorporated known as sai has served the cal u student body by providing activities programs, and services. Every enrolled student has the ability to take part in over 125 different clubs and organizations. Managing participation in every SAI activity is easy with OrgSync, a powerful tool for staying connected. Located one mile from campus, the SAI farm has 94 acres of meeting and recreational space. SAI, it's your student association. <laughs> And welcome back into Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. As you see on the screen there, hopefully you can see, that's where our WCAL announcers are, Anthony D'Agostino and, D or, and Danny Beck. And you can see right there, Danny's classy red tie here to rep the Vulcans, looking sharp. Good job for the two of them. And someone started a little early on that one. See which one they're gonna call on the offense here. Ooh. Oh, that looked close. I thought the defense might have jumped. California catching a break. Now we've seen Slippery Rock catch a couple breaks there with the penalties. California catches one there. And as you saw earlier, the WCAL announcers, Anthony D'Augustino and Dylan, Danny Beck, I keep wanting to say Dylan, <laughs> uh, they're over in enemy territory. We have the comfort of being with the California fans. I kind of like being here at the California yeah. fans. Yeah, yeah I don't know how I feel about being on the way visitor, <laughs> on the visitors' bleachers, but I kind of like I it. Like kind of really sense of how this game's going when right. you're when you're with your own uh, with your own family here with the Vulcans. And they've received a lot of hospitality over there, as we saw Anthony come <laughs> over with a nice little meal box that he was provided with. Tanner Gary, and that one's going to be a flag. The Vulcans. Kind of jumped early on that one, just kind of offsetting what just happened. They're going to get this five yards right back as Slippery Rock. They're going to get that five yards right back as number 29. I believe I heard that right. Number 29, Cameron Tarver. Just kind of got a little eager. He did get a little eager there. And uh, now uh, Slippery Rock, see if they can... Kick a little bit of momentum in after that uh, penalty call. Slippery Rock trying to catch California off guard yet again. Tanner Gary has trips to his left. He's going to take this one as himself. He has room. He found space. He's going to be sworn by a few California defenders before he gets his way to the 30 yard, yard line for a first down and much, much more. And Steve, for this game to go the California way, we're going to need to see that first half defense really reappear here. Yeah, definitely. And that's the running quarterback. Uh, he's taking some shots here. He's garying. California struggles against rushing quarterbacks, and that's exactly what we saw right there. Yeah, and Tanner Gary found that hole, made his way, and got a big game make, making his way to the 30-yard line. Gary fakes the handoff. He's going to keep it himself, and he played them he played that one as well as you could, getting about a seven-yard gain on that play. And the wheels are moving here once again, as we've seen. The pedal is to the metal for the opposing team here in Slippery Rock, PA. They are. The California could get a big stop here, uh, hold them to a field goal like Slippery Rock held Cal. It'd be a big stop. An eight-yard gain actually on that one. It's going to be second and two. Tanner Gary trips to his right. He's going to pitch this one out to Neely. Neely 
Puts his head down and he's going to make his way out of bounds. Not before a flag is thrown on the play. And that was actually Chakar Barry. I believe that's going to be a holding there on the wide receiver there of Slippery Rock. And we'll see what the referee has to say about that one. It's a holding call there on Marcus Johnson, the senior wide receiver. And just like that, Slippery Rock is pushed backwards. And as we saw in that play there, it seems that the Cal defense has kind of caught on to the plan there as multiple defenders were there to be able to shut down that screen there. I don't see Millie Ray out there on the field. Oh, there he is there. <laughs> kind of a smaller guy. I couldn't yeah. see. I was like wondering why he's not on the field there for Slippery Rock. Again, uh, California's been making plays to kind of stop him here tonight. Tanner Gary has four wide receiver options. He's going to drop back, and he's going to be rushed, almost tackled, almost brought down, but he finds a receiver, and he's going to be brought down by Brendan Edwards. Yeah, what a catch there by number 81 for Slippery Rock. That's Andrew Bridgeforth. He made a huge catch there. Uh, as Luke Rapchak was jumping in there, rushed the passer, jumped over the blocker, and uh, almost got the sack, and uh, Gary stays in the pocket and hits a nice, makes a nice throw. Danner Gary. In the shotgun, he has two receivers to his left. A single receiver to his right, one sidecar. He's going to hand this one off. And he has room. He has room. He's going to find his way into the end zone. Slippery, Slippery Rock finds their way on the board yet again in this game. And Slippery Rock once again slips right into the end zone there. And Chikar Berry rolls with the punches and finds his way into the end zone. Yeah, we haven't seen this offense let up since really the end of the first quarter. They got shut out 17-0 there, but they've had their gas pedal uh, matted right to the floor, has Slippery Rock, and now they take a big lead here. Could be 10 points pending this extra point. And the very important word, pending. The extra point was blocked earlier. This one is going to be up. And good. Slippery Rock, they take a 10-point lead. And, folks, you're going to be wanting to join us after the break to finish off the fourth quarter right here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Dylan, what's wrong, man? I just don't know how my family back home in Buchanan, West Virginia, can watch our stuff up here. They can follow us on Twitter or they can like us on Facebook. Awesome. What about our sports? How can they watch that? They could watch it live right on our YouTube channel. Awesome, man. Thanks. You're welcome. For the first time in 31 years, live high school football all season long on CUTV Sports 1. And welcome back to Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. Before the break, Slippery Rock took a 10-point lead with a Barry run into the end zone to make this 37-27. to Slippery Rock readying to kick this ball off. And as you may or may not be able to hear the Jaws theme being played by the Slippery Rock band, they smell blood and they've capitalized on it. That they have, and it seems like both teams falling in their ruts. Both teams finding momentum. This one's going to be kicked off. This is going to be Jimmy Wheeler. Jimmy Wheeler with some speed. He's going to move his feet all the way up to the 25. That's a late hit, but no penalty will be called. As the, After the whistle blow, and there's a guy get thrown right to the ground, but I guess that's part of the play. And it's important to note that every good team faces adversity at some point in their season, and California has seen a big share of that so far, wouldn't you say? They have. They've had lots of experience of coming back uh, against Ohio. Dominican came back, scored late um, against last week in Seton Hill. Big surprise there. Had to come down and score late to take the lead there. So they're definitely by no means out of this now. 12.50 left to go. Plenty of time for this California offense, California team to get back into it. Just going to need some defensive stops as well as getting their offense back going like we saw early on in the first half. Yeah, it's safe to say you can call California the cardiac kids. Kier dropping back. He's going to throw an interception. The Slippery Rock man jukes his way out of California territory 
And just like that, Slippery Frog, the momentum all in their favor. And that's number 45, Tim Vernick there, pulling that Michael Keir interception in. And normally Michael Keir is cool under pressure, and there he misses uh, the late read there, and he read his eyes the whole time. There did the Slippery Rock player there Tim in Vernick. In Vernick. Uh, Red Michael Kier's eye flew out from the middle linebacker position and made the interception. A big turnover now, a couple big turnovers uh, for California played right into the hands of Slippery Rock. Yeah, and Michael Kier had a man, I believe it was Luke Smorey. If he could have got that ball into Luke Smorey's hands, he had room. But just like that, Slippery Rock on offense again in California looking to make a big defensive stand. Now this defense is going to need, for California, going to need a turnover here to keep their offense in it. Tanner Gary, he's going to fake the handoff. He's going to go deep. He's going to go deep. There's a few Vulcan men there, but it's going to just fall incomplete in the back of the end zone, bringing up a second down. And for sure, the California defense is going to look to do something to really get the team back into it here. And like I said, they do need a big defensive stand, and that is a good start. And continue to rush the passer. But again, every time they brought the rush now, we've seen the short screens or a run to the outside past that pass rush. So can't rely on that the whole time here if you're California. Tanner, Tanner Gary drops back, and he's going to be sacked, and that's going to be a big hit from the California defender. Yeah, that's Malik Akins. We've mentioned him. He's made a couple huge hits here today. I believe that's the sixth, maybe seven, a sixth sack, I believe. First one of the second half here for California. Um, now that's a big play this defense needed. They're right on the edge of field goal range. So if I'm California, honestly, third down along like this, I know you're going to think a long pass is coming. Would not be a bit surprised to see a wide receiver screen here to Millie Ray. Yeah, and we'll see where Millie Ray lines up at. He's lining up in that position. He is that slot receiver. We'll see what California, they, they're they going to be predicting a screen. We'll see what Tanner Gray has to see. And the play clock, it hit play, zeros. And it did, and we'll see what happens here. And that is going to be a flag, and that's going to be delay of game. Slippery Rock, boy, are they rattled right now. They are a bit rattled. As you see Rapchak, he's not rattled. He's pumped up ready to make plays. He's yep. just a guy. He makes these big plays. He lives for these big moments, and he's excited out there, so don't be surprised to see him. Uh, Baker or Aikens. Uh, Aikens actually, yeah, he's out there there in those guard position, so don't be surprised to see them rushing the passer here. 11.45 left to play in this game. Tanner Gary dropping back. He's going to be swarmed. This ball is going to be deflected and broken up. Incomplete, bringing up the fourth down. Great play there by Brendan Blair, and I believe this is probably punting position, so California's defense makes a huge stand. We've been dogging them all season long. It's not the defense we're accustomed to seeing here by California, but they've come to play here. They played great in the first half, and uh, kind of Slippery Rock's offense, what you expect to seeing is such a high-level passing team. They're finding the rhythm back, but the defense makes a huge play there. And that's very important because quite possibly a score could have put this game out of reach. And this punt was almost blocked, as this one's going to be fair caught by the California man, Chad Livingston. And now California with a minute, a uh, minute and 30, <laughs> not a minute 30, <laughs> not a minute. 11 minutes and 30 seconds left here. My, see if Michael Keir can redeem himself. He's kind of a guy like that though. If he makes a mistake, you usually see him come back with vengeance there. He yeah. likes to uh, capitalize off his own mistakes there and doesn't he doesn't normally make two in a row. So nope. look for him here to try to redeem himself and earn his trust, really. Of course, he has the trust of his team, but earn their trust back at the end of this game to bring them back into this one. California pinned down in their own end on the 12-yard line. And he's one of the more level-headed guys you'll ever meet is Michael Keir. Michael Keir conducting this train he calls the offense. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to go to Chad Livingston. Chad Livingston has a... Chance to make his way up the field. Only gets a few on that one. But a good play call for there in that situation because he's gotten his confidence back. Completed yep. one after an interception. It's always a big thing. Big hurdle to clear, and now we can look forward. It's going to bring up a second and seven. About a three-yard gain on that play. Michael Keir, just like you said, Colin, trying to regain that momentum. 11 o'clock and running left in this game. 15 left on the play clock. 
Michael Keir, he's going to drop back. He has a receiver open. That's going to be Smorey. Smorey makes his way up the field. He thought he was out of bounds, but he's going to make his way up to the 40, and that's Amori, Mr. Smorey. And you can't get a better route than what we just saw there by Luke Smorey. I was for sure thinking Michael Keir's about to throw it deep. They're on the same page. As soon as he turns around, yep. like you mentioned, the button hook right back there in Luke Smorey there. Wonderful job by Keir and Smorey to be on the same page there. And early in this season, we thought Tom Green was going to be Michael Keir's go-to guy. It has been Smorey. Keir, he's going to go long to Tom Green. Tom Green finds his way in the middle of the field at the 30, at the 20, at the 10. He's going to be brought down out of bounds. A big game from Tom Green. And good morning, good afternoon. Here we are. The Vulcans offense has returned to form. Again, those big plays, his offense needs to just try to take those shots more often. That's 15 yard, 18 yard back to 15 comeback. Michael Keir and Luke Smorey are automatic on that. Uh, that's just a big play there. And uh, now Tom Green, just mentioning him, he thought he'd be Keir's go-to guy, running across the middle on the post route. That's his favorite route in the world there, catching that post route across the middle there. And Luke, uh, Luke Smorey, Tom Green, the two senior receivers making huge plays here for the Balkans. Michael Keir trips to his right. Trying to play off this momentum. Here, he's going to drop back. He's going to scramble. He's going to check his receivers. He has a man, and there's going to be a flag. And I saw that slippery rock defender hounding the receiver in the end zone. And he was draped all over him like a cheap suit. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing about cheap suits, man. Most of my suits I have are from Goodwill. There's nothing wrong with some cheap nothing suits. Nothing wrong with that. They drape over you, but They do. You know, and you're a skinny guy like me. You're going, it's tough to find a suit that doesn't drape over you. California catching a big break there, moving their way up. They're going to be right at the one-yard line now after that penalty occurred in the end zone. California need to build off this momentum on defense if they have a chance to score here. Here's audibling. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see a pass out to this right side with his two go-to receivers out there. Here. He's going to hand this one off to Wheeler. Wheeler spins his way into the end zone. California gets on the board yet again. We'll see. There is a pile up. We'll see the final word from the referees. And it's <laughs> going to be second, second down. down. Oh, no, wasn't in the end yeah. zone. Wow. Looked uh, like he spun closer. his way in there. And Keir get a little fakery there. He faked like he was audible into a pass play. Yeah, gamesmanship again right. there by Keir. <laughs> They're stuffing that middle of the field as expected. Michael Keir has two side cards. He's going to give it to Jimmy Wheeler, and this time Jimmy Wheeler does find his way into the end zone for a Vulcans touchdown. And stuff the middle. That's not going to stop the bowling ball. Jimmy Wheeler knocking the pins down, rolling right on into the end zone and getting California back close. Again, another nice play. That time by Jimmy Wheeler. He's patient there. The middle was clogged up. He's sneaky. He's a really tiny guy. They can't see him there. Sneaks right off the edge and falls right in. A nice run. And now California, after defense makes some huge plays after the Michael Keir interception, uh, the defense now stepping up. And then Michael Keir redeems himself, like we mentioned. That's just what Keir does. Keir, yep. Keir redeems himself. And a uh, nice job of California. Depending this field goal can cut it down to a three-point three game. And usually you'd see teams roll over. But right now, this California team is just having so much fun. And that extra point is good. California only trails by three. Let's see if they can take their momentum onto the defense as we come back after the break with more fourth quarter action here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Save preset one for Cal U's best music. More music in the car. More music in the door. More music everywhere. This is, this is 91.9 WCAL Power 92. The Vulcan Nation playing Cal U's best music 91.9 WCAL Power 92. And welcome back into Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania, California, making their way back on the board. Only trail by three right now, gaining some momentum, Colin. That is a big, big touchdown. 
And it's important to note that blocked extra point is keeping this a one possession game. Yeah, that's a very, very key point there. Brazil kicking this one off. Slippery Rock making their way back on offense. This one's going to be received. It's going to be, that's going to be Millie Ray Wake making his way up to the 40. And I think this one might be coming back as there's a flag on the field. I think I saw an illegal block in the back from Slippery Rock. Yeah, and I do believe that was number two, Aaron Brown, getting lit up. Yep. And we'll see what the referees have to say. It's not even December, and he got lit up like a Christmas tree on that kick return. And what did you see, Dylan, on that kick? Well, I'm looking at our online. We have 55 people watching us live right uh, now, so that's pretty impressive so. there. Um, I'm on my phone. I'm trying to tweet this game out uh, <laughs> so we can... Because I'm the social media director here at CTV. <laughs> That's right. We, we do have a good game. Nine minutes left here in the fourth quarter. <laughs> and Dylan's just doing his part to spread it to the world. <laughs> and my phone's at 1%, so you may have just costed me the enough battery power <laughs> I needed to get this tweet out. <laughs> and Slippery Rock looking like they were going to have the ball on the 40-yard line. Just like that, they're going to start on the 10 because of that penalty. Tanner Gary. Has trips to the right, and this is exactly what California wanted to start with on defense. They're going to hand this one off. He's going to try to go up the middle, but he's stuffed by the California defense. And California getting off on the right foot here, keeping it for a short game. I'm going to say second and maybe six. And it's going to be second and six. And again, this defense needs to make another big play here. California trying to stand strong on defense. And Millie Ray, he's going to be swarmed. He's going to juke out a California defender. But California, they read that screen like a book. And he's very, very, very lucky there to be able to juke out of that and prevent that from being a loss of yards. Yeah, if it wasn't for Millie Ray's uh, agility, he would have brought... Got, he would have been brought down for a loss, bringing up a third and three on the 17-yard line. And the number one team in the country on third down is tested here. See if they can pick up a big third down here in Gary and this rest of this Slippy Rock offense. And you would think that California was at home with the noise that they're bringing. Rap check brings Tanner Gary down with a no-gain run on that play of big fourth down coming up. Yeah, and that was Corey Bopp and Luke Rapcheck, both guys that have been a force all game long. We're here in the crowd now. The momentum's back in favor of California. We've seen the momentum switch back. Can this offense, can this California team take advantage of it? Can they get back in this ball game? And this is the most alive I've ever seen in the way crowd. Slippery Rock getting this punt ready. This one's going to be away. This one's going to be in the arms. <laughs> and there's going to be a big block by Chad Livingston as the carrier makes his way up to the 50-yard line. There's going to be a flag on the play, but that was a big block by Chad Livingston. Talk about putting your whole body into a block. My man threw him hell his body right at him. I hope they don't give him a penalty on no, that. No, the, the flag was around the 50-yard line. Okay. That was clean. There was a referee right in front of that block, <laughs> yeah. so... Yep. I mean, that Wham, was bam. Fantastic. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hip I, check. I, I tried to keep my oh, emotions wrong in there, sport. but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've never seen somebody throw the... Uh, my man Chad Livingston was risking his whole body throwing it into that one. Is there going to be a penalty against California here? But wow, that's an impressive block there by the youngster, Chad Livingston. Now a sophomore, not really a youngster anymore. He's becoming more uh, familiar with your faces here. Uh, hasn't seen well, too many catches here today. He, If you're a CUTV viewer, he has been... Uh, recognizable as we covered him at Laurel Highlands or I'm sorry South Union Townships covered him at Laurel Highlands where he went to school with um, Chad Livingston, uh, Jimmy Pierce Jimmy Pierce, yeah, and Jimmy Pierce is injured he just had surgery on his leg uh, but he's also on the sideline here today Steve's Laurel Highlands oh, bias yeah. sneaking into the broadcast <laughs> right there Keir trips to the left has a sidecar to his left as well. Here taking his time. He fakes the handoff, finds Luke Samori. Luke Samori breaks a couple tackles, and he's going to make his way almost to the 40-yard line. We'll give it to him at the 38. Wow. Luke Samori dragging that defender along like a big dog on a small leash. 
Yeah, and it's just big play after big play for this California team. So fun to watch, man. This is exciting. If you're watching at home, we said we had 50 live viewers there. That's fantastic stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I know I just tweet, I just texted it to my family. Like, tune into this game. <laughs> this is going to be an excellent finish here. Yep. And the fans, they paid for a whole seat. They're only going to need the edge of it as this clock is dwindling down to about 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Kier has trips to the right. He's going to go long. He's scrambling out. He finds a receiver, and this one's going to be caught at the 35-yard line. They're going to say it hit the ground there. Oh, that was so close. I guess the official had a, a great view at that one, but, man, that was close. Michael Kier just tried to force that one in there. Uh, a bit of a safe throw, though. It's better than throwing a ball in the traffic there. Just tried to get it. Try to get it where only his man can right. make the catch. Exactly. Very smart play by Kier. The football IQ on this guy is unbelievable. Kier has those three men to his right. He's going to put Tom Green in motion, then send him right back. You see there's Tyson Hill out here on the near side of the field. Caught that touchdown pass as a, as a youngster there earlier. And Jalen Bell is also back in the backfield here for California. And they're going to be bringing the blitz. Jalen Bell finds his hole. He's going to make his way up the field. He's going to get down at around the 22-yard line. And Jalen Bell once again making himself known in this game. As we noted, he had disappeared there for a little bit earlier in this half. He has, and he's again playing through some injuries there, but you're not going to keep him out of the game here. He wants to be in in a moment like this. wants to redeem himself from fumbling earlier on in this one. Michael Keir, and it looks like Slippery Rock jump. And they will. They're going to throw that flag. Is it a legal procedure? Did he get back across the line? Uh, that's going to be tough. That's a judgment call there by the official. Did he get cross, uh, across the line again? And it, it is going to be a penalty against Slippery Rock here. And that's exactly what you needed. If you're Slippery Rock, that's something that you do not want happening. California, without their own power, moving this ball forward. And the jitters are setting in here on the defensive side of the ball as Cal catches them jumping. Free yards. Vulcan's offense. Not a good combo. <laughs> Rightfully so. Well said, Colin. California lining up in that same formation. Michael Keir with 10 on the play clock. About six minutes left in the game. Here, low Ooh. throw. He had Tom Green, but there was a defender jumping. This one is going to fall incomplete. That was a dangerous throw there by Keir, too. His double coverage there to Tom Green. I kind of clinched up there. That's a, that's a risky throw there by Keir. He is kind of feeling himself right now, though, so you give him kind of that power to force those throws as he has come on strong after throwing the interception earlier on. And he's on. almost lucky that that throw was a little low because that could have been interception central. Michael Keir. With Jimmy Wheeler to his right. Three wide receivers to his right as well. One lonely one to his left. He's going to hand this one off to Wheeler. Wheeler makes his way through the Silvery Rock defense. Getting down at around the 19-yard line. A good run there right up the middle. Stumbling and rumbling. Getting closer to the sticks. And that's a new uh, kind of nuance of of his game there, Jimmy Wheeler. Lowering his shoulder there. Yep. He broke a tackle by lowering his shoulder. Not too often you see a short, quick uh, back like Jimmy Wheeler make a play just like that. And I don't know what I was talking about. The 14-yard line <laughs> that he's down at is going to be a third and one, a big third down play. California's in the position. If they don't get this third down conversion, they do have a chance to kick that field goal to tie it up. Michael Keir hands this one off to Wheeler. Wheeler finds the space. Wheeler has more. Wheeler finds his way into the end zone. California is going to take the lead. And yeehaw, he's in the end zone. I'm getting a little country western here today. Jimmy Wheeler back to back in the end zone. And what a play there by Jimmy Wheeler. He is an emotional guy. He thrives off of emotion. And Michael Keir trusted his young running back there and Jimmy Wheeler to pick up the touchdown. Again, the top two guys are playing with injury. Though. Nick Grissom does not play, is not playing here tonight with an injury. But Jimmy Wheeler has stepped up in a big way here tonight. Jimmy Wheeler. What a presence he has been making. Will Brazil puts the icing on the cake with the extra point. California gains that four-point lead now, 41-37. You're not going to want to miss any action left in this fourth quarter. So stay tuned here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. 
Since 1937, the Student Association Incorporated, known as SAI, has served the Cal U student body by providing activities, programs, and services. Every enrolled student has the ability to take part in over 125 different clubs and organizations. Managing participation in every SAI activity is easy with OrgSync, a powerful tool for staying connected. Located one mile from campus, the SAI farm has 94 acres of meeting and recreational space. SAI, it's your student association. And welcome back into Mahalik Thompson Stadium in Slippery Rock, PA. You just saw Wheeler's touchdown going back to back, making California take the lead 41 to 37. William Brazil getting ready to take that kickoff. And he does, he sends this one away to Slippery Rock. This one's almost mishandled. This is gonna be Johnson. Johnson's gonna be taken down around the 20. The ball is out, the ball is out. California may have recovered it here. California, they say they have the ball. Slippery Rock, they say they have the ball. We'll see what the referees has to say. There is going to be a pile up. It's going to be a monumental moment in the game. Both crowds are dead quiet. And we Let's got play. the football here. California has control of the football. What a huge turn of events this last about five minutes. Unbelievable, California getting that ball off a of fumble. I said that ball was almost, almost mishandled by Marcus Johnson. It must have been because he lost control of the football call, and this place is banana land right now. And are we watching animal planet right now? Because this game is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. And this has been great stuff. The yep. fans here at California have been come out in full force who made the travel. And if you're watching at home, thank you for watching. What a fantastic ball game. This has had everything you would want in a football game. And more. Drama. and Exactly, drama. It's been like a chess match all game since California took that 17-0 lead early on. It has been back and forth ever since. What a fantastic football game here tonight. And this is where strategy makes its way into the game. California, they have five minutes to take off of this clock before the game is over. They do have that four-point lead. Boy, wouldn't it be nice to get another touchdown. It would be huge to get another touchdown. Jimmy Wheeler not in there right now, but has picked up the last two touchdowns there. Stepped up in a big way due to injuries here today as Jimmy Wheeler. Jimmy Wheeler hands this one off to Jalen Bell. Jalen Bell finds himself getting about two yards. Yeah, and quick, I want to give a quick shout-out to our CUTV meteorologist here, Alex McAvoy, has been texting me updates from watching it on uh, home all game long. Uh, he's excited just like we are here. So a huge shout out to him. Does the weather for it. Did the yep. weather this past week there for CUTV News Center. So a big shout out there to Alex watching back at, at Cal. 100% Alex, a friend of the program. Big thanks for the weather. We really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, because we saw what Steve did when he was Whoa. in charge of weather a couple <laughs> weeks ago there. <laughs> Michael Keir. Striking a pose, he has trips to his right. Only three seconds left on the play clock. He gets this one off. He's going to get this ball away. That's going to be to Tom Green. Tom Green might have stepped out of bounds. And I called that. I, I wasn't going to say it on air, but I was trying to get your attention what he did some audible there. I remember that audible call <laughs> from when I played there in <laughs> Michael Keir. So I uh, tried to tried to do it. I was going to do a Teddy Romo, you know, call the play before it happens there, but I didn't <laughs> want to give out any secrets there of California. <laughs> Rightfully so. You'll have... Almost every single team in the PSAC West on your back, <laughs> especially Coach Dunn. Yeah, Co <laughs> Coach Salisbury, too. I'll never hear the end of it there. He never lets me hear the end of anything. But, uh. A man in motion. That man is Tom Green. Michael Keir has a sidecar to his right. He's going to hand that ball off to Jimmy Wheeler. Jimmy Wheeler finds his way up the field, and that will be a first down. This is going to be first and goal for the California Vulcans. Yeah, and talk about momentum. This offense has just taken over. Uh, they lost, they had their mojo early, lost it. Now getting it back in a big way. And all that comes back to is momentum. Getting the ball in great field position. The defense making a huge stop when Slippy Rock was in field position after the Michael Keir interception. The defense stepped up, pushed them out of field goal range. And ever since then, California has complete control of this ball. Huge shout out to the defense. Coach Craig has had them on top of their game here tonight. Rightfully so. Well said, Dylan. California sticking to the run game. 
draining as much clock as possible. This one's going to be handed off to Jimmy Wheeler again. Jimmy Wheeler's going to be taken down with a gain about three yards on the play, keeping this clock running. Three minutes, just about three minutes left to play. It would be huge if California can make this a two-possession game. And California, right, as you said, Steve, working well with time management here, something that this team has done well throughout the entire season so far to date, especially last week. Yeah, and I what, didn't have the opportunity to uh, go to that game or even watch it as I had <clears throat> prior things to do. Michael Keir, a man to his right and a man to his left. He's going to hand this one off to Jimmy Wheeler. Jimmy Wheeler, he's going to be swarmed in the backfield, picking up a yard. Now this, a yard. this is big here. If California has to settle for a field goal, that will only make it a seven-point ball game as now they're going to call a timeout. It is, uh, I believe, Slippery Rock. Or, uh, see. Yeah, it was Slippery Rock. This is a huge play here. This is either going to be a two-possession game or a one-possession yep. game, pending a field goal or a touchdown here. So let's see. This is where we usually see Michael Keir shine. Let's see what kind of play the California Vulcans draw up. And Dylan, let's say you've got the clipboard in your hands right now. What are you pulling out of the bag of tricks right here to make happen? Let me guess. A triple option. <laughs> no, definitely not triple option. Triple trick cone. <laughs> what we've seen, though, we saw this against Millersville, and we saw it last year against IUP. Big touchdowns late in the goal line situation. We've seen Michael Keir run it in off some roll, uh, some rollouts. So do not be surprised if we see a, a play action rollout back to his right here. Michael Keir, we saw that the touchdown against Millersville last week. Would not be surprised to see a play action bootleg here by Michael, uh, Michael Keir. That has been a successful play for them in the end zone. I've noticed that throughout the season. It's worked very well for them. And he, he can keep it on his legs. He's a nice strong back. I, uh, now with this bunch set here near the side of the field, I would definitely be expecting something out to the outside to that right side. And we'll see what Kier has up his sleeve. Let's see what he can do with this Vulcan offense. I don't know. With the back on this side of the field, it would be interesting to see what they do here. Michael Kier with under 10 seconds to get this one off. He's going to go. A fade to Tom Green. That one's going to be just out of bounds. Didn't manage to get a foot in. That was so close. Just a hair out of bounds. That's interesting. I'm not sure if that's what where I would have gone there with that play there, giving it a jump ball. I think if you roll Keir out there, it's a better situation. But here, we're going to send the, the strong leg of Will Brazil, the reliable there, Will Brazil. This is a play. This is, a, this is why he came here to Cal is to make right. plays like this. And Pending. do you want me to mention to Coach Salisbury what you would have done? No, I definitely don't mention to Coach Salisbury. <laughs> if you're watching back after this, Coach Salisbury, just pay no attention to what I said here. <laughs> There's a reason I'm no longer on the, on the team here. <laughs> Brazil puts this one up. And just like perfection, right through the uprights. This is a seven-point game now. California has that lead, 44 to 37. This one is getting down to the nitty-gritty. Stay tuned right here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Dylan, what's wrong, man? I still know how my family back home in Buchanan, West Virginia, can watch our stuff up here. They can... Follow us on Twitter, or they can like us on Facebook. That's awesome. What about our sports? How can they watch that? They could watch it live right on our YouTube channel. Awesome, man. Thanks. You're welcome. For the first time in 31 years, live high school football all season long on CUTV Sports 1. And welcome back into Slippery Rock. 2.14 left to play in this ball game, folks. California has a seven-point lead, 44 to 37. William Brazil getting ready to kick this one off, and he does. This one's going to be received at about the 20-yard line. Slippery Rock man is going to be taken down. Not the best return in a situation that you're looking for. And what a game that we have on our hands here today. This rivalry is living up to the hype. Intensity turned up past 10. And you know what? This is something that 
uh, seen in the past couple years, it's almost like California was always the little brother of Slippery Rock and IUP. Now California just lighting this fire yet again to build this rivalry against Slippery Rock and IUP back up. Yeah, definitely. These are the games, uh, we mentioned uh, Slippery Rock's fantastic home record, only losing one game in the last seven years here at home. Uh, all those wins that came against California. California has not played well here in years past. Tanner Gary finds the open receiver to get the first down, down about the 38 yard line. And yeah. Dylan, should this hold, it'll be a huge thing for California to really get the monkey off their back of not playing well here on the road. Gary drops back. That one's going to be broken up by the California defense. That is number three, Brendan Edwards, getting his hand in there and making this pass incomplete. And I think if you're Slippery Rock, you need to try to get the ball in Millie Ray's hands. This has been a non-factor here today. Has Millie Ray. California has taken him out of the ball game. You need to design something for your speedster there at the wide receiver position. Uh, I'm sure California's going to bring the pass rush here. I think you need to try to hit him deep. Tanner Gary drops back. And that California defender was all over him, and there's the flags. You saw it coming. Brendan Edwards was all over that receiver on the 50-yard line. Oh, and to have something like that happen, you're giving them yards to let them get right back into this game. Definitely. You just you want the tight coverage there, but not, that was a, that was a too tough tight. one there. Yeah, and I was surprised the person in front, the official in front didn't call that. The official behind was kind of shielded from seeing the actual contact called that one, but I believe that was the right call there. And that gives Slippery Rock now ball in California territory, minute 54. See if this defense can step up yet again or the possibility go into overtime here at uh, Slippery Rock. And that one's going to be handed off. The running back has some room. He's going to be brought down with only a gain about three yards on that play. What a job there by Cameron Tarver, who didn't make the tackle, but he affected the run there of the running back for Slippery Rock and Isaiah Neely. He ran out there, got a paw on him, wasn't able to bring him down. Fantastic job. I haven't said his name a lot here in Cameron Tarver. And California Tanner caught Gary. off guard here. Tanner Gary makes a quick play over to Marcus Johnson with 128 left to play, and that they got a last second into that as that one went down to 127. The Slippery Rock offense making their way down the field very, very quickly. And they just caught California. They weren't lined up was the Vulcans there on that one. Dylan, you spoke the dreaded two-letter word, OT. I don't think fans of the Cardiac Kids could take something like that. Tanner Gary finds Millie Ray as Millie Ray makes a fantastic move to make his way up the field. Fantastic move there by Millie Ray. Uh, Colin and I are a bit distracted here, but Millie Ray with a nice move there. Slippery Rock making their way down the field. And this one's going to be a run. Not enough to get the first down. It might be a third and one. A big third down should it stand. Just kidding. We are having a first down. And here comes the play. And it's going to be a third down, and, or it is going to be a first down. Tanner Gary throws this one. This one's going to be deflected by the California defense. And what a big defensive play there. Yeah, and Cameron Tarver with another big play uh, for the Vulcans. It's two big plays in a row by the, uh, I believe it's a Sleepless Service game. And Cameron Tarver, I believe he was in the Navy there for California. So big shout out to him here in this one. Making big plays on salute to service night. Tanner Gary has four receivers, two to his right, two to his left. Say Calvin needs to bring the pressure here. Rapcheck calling out the play, kind of the Michael Keir, this defense, the leader of the defense from the inside. Tanner Gary gets this one off. He's going to go in the air. This one's wide, and that's going to be to Miley Ray. Billy Ray into the end zone. The Rock make their way onto the board once again with 42 seconds left to go. And let me remind you, this is a lot of time for California's offense. Yeah, this is not over yet. But Millie Ray, we mentioned it, he needed to make a play. Slippery Rock needed to get the ball in the speedster's hands. And that's exactly what they did. Pass right across the middle. Haven't seen that. Top 40's defense has done a great job all game long. of not giving up that deep pass. But there, when it mattered most, Slippery Rock gets the big play. Melly Rock with a very slippery play there. A name that we thought we were going to be calling a lot. This is going to be a timeout for 
California, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be California. That's twice we've seen California call timeouts here on special teams on extra points. So must have saw something they didn't like there. I'm not sure. Maybe they're wanting Slipper Rock to think a little bit more about this if they want to go for two, maybe. I'm not really sure. Well, um, you never know. Are they going to fake that field goal? You never know. It's the PSAC West. The Wild West, as, some, uh, as I like to call it. I mean, anything can happen. That's for sure. And as we await this to happen, I've noticed their interesting tradition that they have over here. And that's something that's unique to college football. It appears they do some form of stunt it looks like on top of a rock <laughs> oh they better watch out I, hope I, heard, I heard that rock you get a little slippery oh, oh got him <laughs> got him oh what a joke there oh the referee almost went down there as we're getting back the action <laughs> maybe a little slippery there by the man this whole place is slippery <laughs> as we're getting ready for the extra point it's gonna be up and it's going to be good guess what folks we have a tie ball game yet again. This one is just getting started as we have 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Stick with us here on CUTV and CUTV Sports 1. Dylan, what's wrong, man? I still know how my family back home in Buchanan, West Virginia can watch our stuff up here. They can follow us on Twitter or they can like us on Facebook. That's awesome. What about our sports? How can they watch that? they could watch it live right on our YouTube channel. Awesome, man. Thanks. You're welcome. For the first time in 31 years, live high school football all season long on CUTV Sports 1. And welcome back to Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. We got a nail biter, folks. This one's tied up with 42 seconds left. Slippery Rock getting back on the board with a Millie Ray touchdown. Yeah, nice Millie Ray touchdown. We're waiting for his name to be called here. And he gets back uh, right up and makes a huge play here for Slippery Rock, tying this game back up 44 44. This is an all time great here. Uh, a great ball game here in this this rivalry of Slippery Rock in California that dates back so many years. Slippery Rock kicking this one away for the Vulcans. And this one's going to be down to around the 27 yard line for California. They have 30 seconds, 38 seconds left in zero timeouts. Now this is a big question here. What do you do? 38 seconds left. Do you risk a possible turnover here? Or do you put the ball in your, um, or do you run the ball? I say you put the ball in your senior quarterback's hands on Michael Keir to try to get you in field goal position. We haven't seen really the full leg strength of Will Brazil. I think you get around a 52 I think he can make anywhere from 50 and up field goals here. He's got quite the leg. Yep. We haven't seen him. They're just going to kneel it and head to overtime here is California. And that they will. And Don't really know why. This, this is bold. Yeah. And they're going to take the knee. And we've, this seen the, we've seen the conservative play here yep. in this game by California I, before halftime and now again. I so, guess the only thing I could think of is the fact that they don't have any timeouts to that, work with. I don't know. That, I mean, uh, that's tough. a good point. I, I trust your senior quarterback here. You're at. You're away. I think you go. You go for it. But it's too late now. As they're going to let this go yep. into overtime. That's a tough decision, and we're going to actually keep it here for the coin flip. Uh, and we'll we'll go off that. Do you guys agree with letting this one go to overtime? I, I don't agree with it. I think I think you have a senior quarterback. You're at Slippery Rock. I think you need to go for the win. That's it's just how that's how we were last year in California. We didn't we didn't we didn't play like a musical. We went for we took a, we took the ball in our hands and, and put the game in our hands Play, here. Playing so, assertive. Yeah, playing assertive really. That's how we played last season. Uh, so I don't know. Let's see if this defense and we've seen them make some plays, but once Slippery Rock's really gotten in 
uh, goal-to-go situations, they've scored almost every single time. California's had to settle for a couple field goals. So that's going, my, that might be the difference here. California having to settle for a field goal versus Slippery Rock, who's done fantastic in the red zone all game long. And Colin, Dylan, chatting my ear off over here. What do you think? Do you think this is a smart play going to overtime? Well, there's two ways you can look at this. There's one you can look at it from a time management perspective where they're making a good choice by, you know, refreshing themselves, picking up a timeout, being able to move down the field, make something happen. But the other way you look at it is you could be setting yourself up for a huge heartbreak depending on how the coin falls. Go yeah, ahead, go ahead Dylan. Yeah, The way I've always looked at it is when you're, when you're the home team, I think you settle uh, for settle for overtime because you, you get that extra little oomph there from the crowd. But I think now in overtime, I think you have to, uh, well now in a way you, you uh, should be as we're taking a look at us over here. I think if you're the way crowd, I think you go for it. But again, nonetheless, you can't second guess yourself now. Uh, you've made the decision, now you gotta roll with it here with overtime. I don't really remember, did we have an overtime game last season for California? I don't think we did. I don't think we did I either. I don't recall. We'd have to we'd have to fact check that one. But uh, where's we, Kiefer at? We need right. Maybe Kiefer here. You know, <laughs> that's that. Right, and uh, you know, I'm. It's tough. I, I don't re I don't recall going to overtime last season, but been I do couple, believe the season IUP was before, close. So we were close to going to overtime. That one went down to the last minute, and that was off a Will, Will Brazil kick, and then IUP had a chance to go on offense, and they. Uh, they couldn't do anything with it, but last season, I don't believe that we went to off, uh, uh, overtime. And it's important that you mention IUP there, as that is where the train rolls on to next week. Yeah, win or loss here, California. They're going to be taking off, taking on IUP next week. As uh, that's Steve almost be... fell out of the bleachers here. <laughs> it's a little slippery. It could be slippery here at Slippery, slippery Rock. Is. I could have got away with that one, but you have to mention that. <laughs> Um, but IUP, radio only, so you won't he be hearing any of our voices. That might also be a three-headed broadcast. If it isn't, it's going to be Anthony D'Agostino and you, Dylan, right? I believe that's what we've decided there. Maybe right. a three-headed broadcast, depending on what, how much room we have right I there know, in the booth there at IUP. I know that for a fact I will not be here as I'll be traveling home. And if you're familiar with High School Roundup, I'll be filming my segment at my high school. Ooh. So we've got some interesting, interesting things in store here. That won't be on, of course, this week's upcoming broadcast. That will be the week after. Right, and uh, that's some good stuff. Uh, it's going to be a fun week. Uh, I know... CUTV will be making a trip up there as fans. It's been a while since uh, we were able to just watch the games as fans. I uh, hope you'll be listening at least, call into the game. Uh, it might be a three-headed broadcast with Anthony D'Arestino, Dylan Godet, and Danny Beck, but that's all depending on how much room. And we'll see what the coin toss has to offer. I think we have the ball and... Uh I believe we may be on offense first. Yeah, but the rules here for overtime is each team gets a chance. Not like NFL rules, the ball will be placed at the 25-yard line. Each team will get the chance to go in and score. And then starting at the third overtime, you can either in the first and second overtime you can go, um, you can go for two or kick the extra point. But starting in the third overtime, everybody has to go for two uh, there. So uh, and it, it flips. So if California gets the ball first um, here for this first overtime. Slippery Rock will get a chance to answer them, and then if it's still tied, Slippery Rock will get the chance to go first, and California will be on defense. Uh, so that's how, that's basically your rules here for overtime. There you go, Mr. Godet, breaking that down for us because I sure as heck didn't know <laughs> that the rules of overtime went that deep. Yeah, and what a team we make here. We've got our play-by-play -play guy, our inside knowledge guy, and then I guess you could consider me the zany touchdown reaction guy. <laughs> oh, I kind of like this. If we keep the numbers up, I wouldn't mind a three-headed yep. broadcast if we yep. had the room. No, it goes down the line. Yep. Me, down to you, Dylan, and then finally to Colin. And we're going to get started right on the 25-yard line. And folks, buckle up because California is starting this overtime on offense. Michael Keir has a man to his right and a man to his left. He has a chance to make a big impact in this overtime period. He's going to drop back. He's going to throw. Luke Smory up and almost caught. Unbelievable. Great defense by Slippery Rock. Luke Smory almost had a chance at that second attempt. Yeah, you take the shot on your first play, but that really kind of backs you up here. 
Now it's second down and 10. They took the shot. I like that call, taking the shot there on the first play of this overtime. It looks like he almost hit uh, there in Smory in the end zone. A little bit of a tip drill there in the end zone. Almost able for Smory to pull that down. Smart play by Slippery Rock. Though the ball was tipped. They can get all over yep. Luke Smory once exactly that ball they is did. tipped. And that's exactly what they did, hindering him from making the catch. Michael Keir has another chance, putting Slippery Rock on their heels with that big throw to Luke Smory. Slippery Rock, they don't know what they're going to be thrown at. This one's going to be Jalen Bell. Jalen Bell makes his way through the defense. Only picks up about four yards on that run. I think you need to score a touchdown here. Yep. Uh, Slippery Rock has been fantastic in the red zone all game long. If you're California, you need to get six here. Uh, so this is a huge third down. And the crowd comes alive. Both crowds coming alive as Mrs. Baker leads the charge for this California uh, visitor section. Michael Keir has three men to his left. He has the trips. Has a man in the backfield to his left. Michael Keir, he's going to drop back. He's going to scramble. He's going to be brought down for a sack by, by none other 34. than Martin, Marcus Martin there, the defensive end. Again, you just that's a guy I was about to say, you got to look out there for number 44 for Slippery Rock, and he makes a huge play as now it's going to be put on the leg of Will Brazil, and it may come back to bite California now of taking this to overtime. And their biggest chance was that first play to Luke Smory. Now putting the team on, not on the back of Will Brazil, but on the foot of Will Brazil. This is a nail biter, folks. We'll see if Will Brazil can get this one off. He has five seconds. The kick is up. It's gonna be a line drive, and like no other, Will Brazil misses it. From our vantage point, that looked good as good comes. Yes, yeah. Steve, I also thought the same. I think that's wide left there. Uh, it may have been tipped. The ball took a weird angle, but man, again, I'm just, I'm going to voice my opinion here, but I think you just don't, you keep the ball in your hands. You, you put the game in your, the fate of the game in your hands there before the end of regulation, but uh, how do I know, right? <laughs> and Slippery Rock making their way for their first offensive try for this overtime period. And Steve, how fitting is it that this game comes down to this California defense that we said is here to play and they want to establish themselves. This is your chance. This is where heroes are made. Could be a big chance for a turnover here in this defense to save the game. Again, they've been saving California all game long. California's offense here. See if they can make a big play. California's defense has to step up and they do. Luke Rabchek, like no other, brings the man down in the backfield for a loss of about one. Again, Luke Rabchek making big plays and Slippery Rock now being a little conservative themselves there, not taking California's route of going deep on the first play, but they try to get some ground, get some yards on the ground and unable to do so. So now they're backed up in a second down and 10. Got to look out for that receiver, Millie Ray. This is going to be handed off to number 25. The Slippery Rock running back, and he's going to be brought down. Almost a loss, but he gets zero gain on that one. It's going to be third and 10. What a big play from the Vulcans' defense yet again. And this is a big third down here, which could even lead to an even bigger fourth down. But we don't want to look too far ahead yet here. No, we do not, Colin. Slippery Rock standing there waiting for for a play. Tell you what, this is probably the most exciting game that we have called for the Vulcans. Slippery Rock running their offense. They're going to hand it off yet again. They have room on the outside. They're going to be brought down. And this is going to bring up a fourth down. And now it lies on the kicker. As Luke Rapchak, Chapla. Yeah, Luke Rapchak's frustrating, trying to call out for a holding call, but he's unable to do so. See if this defense here, uh, this extra point block, can make a big play. This uh, field goal block, excuse me, not extra point. Yeah, you are right, Dylan. I definitely thought I saw a hold there as they moved towards us, but here's the game, as Steve said, on the foot of Jake Chapla. There's going to be a timeout icing that kicker as if... 
As is that going to be a California timeout? Yeah, I believe so. We don't have any timeouts listed, but I think you get a timeout okay. once overtime right. starts up. Uh, but again, yeah, icing the kicker here. Uh, yep. Maybe just get him to think a little bit more about this one against the number five team in the country. Not like he can hear me or anything, but this is a kick to beat the number five team in the country. Right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Dylan always giving us words of wisdom over there, but icing that kicker as if the weather hasn't already done that. We'll see if California can get that big, big block in yet again. This California crowd needs to be louder than ever. And they don't want to go insurance. home disappointed. Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> Chapla. Can he nail this under pressure? The kick is up. And the kick is good. The Slippery Rock team rushes the field as Chapla nails that. And what a heartbreaking end to these California Vulcans. Yeah, heartbreaking to say the least, but the season is not done for your California Vulcans here. Again, this is a three-team race to the finish. California still has to play IUP. So does Slippery Rock. So do not count California out as this could be a crazy finish to this PSAC West, but what a ball game for sure. California fights back, but comes back. Uh, Slippery Rock fights back again after they're down 17-0 to start this game. Again, it's something about 17-0 leads here for California. Uh, not too favorable for them. And Colin, Dylan gave us his last words. Any last words for yourself? At this point, if you're California, you need to put this in the back of your mind. Go into practice on Monday and work for the Cold Bowl next week because that's going to be a huge statement for your season. And the Cold Bowl will be coming up next week at IUP. A great game ending in 47-44. A nail biter, an absolute thriller. California really showed up but fell short at the Mahalik Thompson Stadium. For everyone on crew withstanding the cold, alum, CUTV alumni coming out to the game, showing some, showing some support for Dylan Gaudet, for Colin Kirkwood, I've been Stephen Ruffing. Have a great night, everyone. See you next week.